Here we go again. Here we go again. What's going on, y'all? Neapolitan Ice Cream Podcast back again. Christian, Joe, Will, alongside my homie, Arian, Tech King. What else you say you go by? Cannabis Kid? Tech King. <laughs> I got my homie with me, the Tech King. Yes, sir. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been yeah. great. Welcome, homie. <laughs> As you can see what's going on over there. If you can't see, yeah, that's because you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that like button below, please. Yes, <laughs> yes. subscribe. Comment. In that bell. Nah, but if you are watching the video, we got some paraphernalia. Damn. <laughs> what happened? And chiropractic adjustment. Yeah. <laughs> some that ASMR. Like that, that definitely caught on the mic. Oh, I mean, fuck it. <laughs> You get old. That's just spun. <laughs> yeah, over, over here making fun of my knee pain. That's OD. Is you it on, pain? Are you on your knees too much? No. Hey. All right. All right. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> you about to go down the wrong hole. Pause. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You don't want to go down there. You're, you're upsetting the dog and shit. Look at that. All right. Anyway, we got the homie here. We're gonna be talking cannabis. cannabis. So, Tech King. Introduce us to yourself. Let us know what you're about. What's up, peoples? So my name is uh, Arian. Uh, most people call me Tech King, like technology, technology king. <clears throat> and I am the CTO of a company called Happy Monkey. I am also on the board of directors of uh, another non-for-profit organization called Normal. It's a national organization for a reefer uh well they pretty much focus on legalizing marijuana across the states and i am on the new york city chapter on that aside from other other things within the cannabis community you can find me involved in respect exactly. What's up? <laughs> yeah so like when you see people put public figure in their ig like you're a public, pub, figure. public figure <laughs> <laughs> respect, respect. Respect. So what exactly is Happy Monkey? Cause I see you posted on your on your Instagram a lot. I see the company a lot. Got yes. a lot of follower, big following, and all that. So what's that about? So Happy Monkey as a brand, we're pretty much focused on kind of bridging the culture and corporate when it comes to cannabis, gotcha. specifically in New York. Uh, outside of Happy Monkey itself, you and when you're looking at anything kind of weed related, it's it's a lot of Cali, LA. Oregon, Canada yeah, stuff. West you don't Coast, really right. see. Yeah. You see West Coast, but you don't really see a lot of East Coast when it comes to mm-hmm. right. that that media on side. So we saw that that gap that was there and decided like we're just gonna it's gonna go out and attack <clears throat> attack that media side and just <laughs> and let kind of let the world know like East Coast. I mean, New York itself is consumes more cannabis than any other yeah. any place in in the world. So legit. legit. And that's it's not even a hundred percent legal here. That's yeah. black market and and green market. New York City takes the cake when it comes to cannabis consumption. You, you know, you know, it's crazy. You said it's not all the way legal here. Why do you think it's taken so long for New York to to get on board with legalizing marijuana? Like we just decriminalized it, right? So yeah. You, uh-huh. like, well, it's actually been decriminalized in New York State uh-huh. since the seventies. Oh, really? Yeah, but. The problem was that no one gave a fuck. Ah. And uh, the 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 70s decriminalization is more... Like, the wording is very, very, very vague. Okay. Uh-huh. So, it really didn't mean anything as far as for the people type shit. Like, when you probably look at the law, it probably lowered the sentence or something shit, or, like, the severity, if even that. Mm-hmm. And then right. they probably... Yeah, you need to chill. Um, probably some bullshit that happened. Yeah. And then... Or... They don't f- probably figure those who are doing cannabis or whatever, we are fucking not looking at that shit. <laughs> yeah, because I've seen just like, what, last week, New Jersey legalized it. And then I've been seeing Cuomo, he made a proposal to legalize it before April 1st. Yeah, I mean, he's made that proposal before as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I, to answer your question as far as maybe why it's taking it, it's, it's, it's a lot of things. As far as New York, it's uh, the argument is where is the money going to go? Huh? So that's that's the biggest Always problem the money. there. This is where the money is going to go. Also, as far as what the legalization that's on the table, what Cuomo offered up as far as that process, it doesn't have anything for criminal reform. There's no in, in uh, home grow options. 
There's no delivery licenses options, like things that's realistic as far as how New Yorkers are going to use cannabis mm-hmm. when mm-hmm. it's legal. All that stuff would still technically be illegal, yeah. even though Cuomo, wow. quote unquote, made it wreck. So they just want to tax it and make money off <clears> the shit. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to say that's just what it is. I think it's a little bit of that. I think it's a, there's definitely a, a power thing. They're scared. And then also, you got to think about it. Once it gets legal, it's it's not just legal in New York City. It's legal in New York State. Okay. And the yeah. people that's really making decisions for the state is up in Albany. Right. And they're not really, they're not weed friendly in Albany just yet. Okay. Wow. So huh. do, you, do you think it will be legalized in New most, York soon? Most definitely. I would de- within the next five years, I would definitely say it's- Five years? Within the next five years, yeah. yeah. So it but can't happen this. You don't think it'll happen this year? I can't say that's not. It's, it's looking very good. Uh-huh. But even if they do legalize it now, that doesn't necessarily mean that the fight is over. Like yeah. we still got to get people out of jail that's in jail for legalization. There's probably a lot of them too. <clears throat> uh-huh. Yeah, that goes too easy. many. I know. Yeah. Even Jersey just recently. I think even the governor when they have made the official announcement, like I think it was like last week. Nigga, did I not just <laughs> say that? <laughs> no, but, but no, but like last. Well. the well, because we first they voted on it first. <laughs> yes, but I just said, said you legalized oh, you it last, oh, last week. Finally, yeah. you have. Last week. Oh, um, but he, he governor, I think Murphy, whatever yeah, his fucking name is. Yeah, he was talking. He he did mention in Jersey shit about making sure mother, like dudes that were locked up. I didn't mean my, <laughs> my dude, <laughs> dudes is well, locked yeah, up. Criminal for, reform is definitely one of the yeah. Yeah. Important. most important things, yeah. and that's just one of the things that a lot of legalization just look over. Yeah, it wouldn't happen immediate though. They wouldn't be just like y'all yeah, free. They're gonna have to go through obviously. I mean, like, but they can. It's a start. Like, though. I don't. I can't think of the this. One of the other states that made it that process literally just automatic expunction. If if you have a nonviolent criminal charge for marijuana possession, marijuana possession under X amount of because if you mm-hmm. you got caught with seven pounds, mm-hmm. granted, I still believe you shouldn't be in jail for that. But yeah. like the automatic expunction won't go that far. But less than a pound, blah 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 blah. Like you, you're automatically there's no extra steps to get that done. How they much? they oh can God. definitely do that. How much time do you get for like holding weed now? Like in general, like I mean, there was a person that just got released. I would have to say earlier this year, mm-hmm. he was in jail. He got locked up for having thirty five grams, which is a little bit over an a ounce. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he was locked up for thirty five years. Thirty five. That's stupid. And that's so, it for just for having it. Just just for having it. It wasn't like he just had a bag of thirty five grams. Wow. It was like I. You're, you're taken down and he was a teenager like yeah his life is over after that so and there's there's so many other people that's currently locked up with very very similar situations that's so deep so it's it's more of like who what judge you got and yeah. how much stuff you actually have that's on you that's bullshit man and, and it's also not like the they're trying to harm anybody you. with this shit you know? that's, that's the, fucked up that's the that's the crazy part it's not a, you not trying to harm nobody, and then B is legit medicine for people. Like, exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've met people that had cerebral palsy and had fucking uh, seizures every other day. Mm-hmm. Now they smoke cannabis; the the seizures are pretty much non-existent. Wow, you got something Damn. to say? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So look, if 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 we does get legal in New York City. And stay. You, you said that we have the highest consumption. What happens to all the drug dealers? <laughs> they out of business. <laughs> it's over. So no, the, I would yeah. The black market is not going anywhere. Okay. Yeah. The reason because of that, even if they do legalize it, right? The the level is who can sell it. That's a mm-hmm. whole nother market. You're gonna have to have a license to grow. You're gonna have to license to sell. Mm-hmm. The black market is still gonna be there because they're gonna tax the shit out of it. Like. Mm-hmm. Right. Some of y'all out there probably paying twenty five dollars today, twenty five to sixty, depending on the quality of stuff. Add an extra twenty five to sixty dollars on top of that because of those taxes. Wow. Oh, it, it, it won't be. It definitely won't be cheap yet. <laughs> but the, I, I definitely support the legalization of cannabis because not necessarily to get rid of the street dealer, but a lot of street dealers don't give two fucks about the plant. Yeah, mm. they're just in it because For they the feel money. it's a quick, it's money? a quick money grab. Mm-hmm. And that's, uh, which usually leads to more problems. Or then, not usually, but could lead to it, more problems. It leads to, honestly, it leads to more confusion. Back to. There's, like, the yeah. biggest confusion right now is Zaza. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Before, yeah. Before, before, I didn't know. Before Zaza, everything was called loud. 
Oh, Zaza and Loud is the same shit? There's no strain called Loud. There's no strain called <laughs> so Zaza. So what is Loud? What is Zaza? I just thought that should be hidden. There's no strain called Gas. Gas. All right, what else? The, yeah. the, all those is, uh, are just Flame. descriptions of adjectives on how good yeah. said quality bud they have. That's oh, okay. No, I thought, I, that's what I thought, actually. Yeah. No, I, I thought but it like, was just that. <laughs> you hear rappers say Zaza, you hear everybody saying The Zaza like, should confuse me. I'm not going to front. Yeah. Like, but, Nate, does that annoy you? What? Yes. Those terminologies, stuff these. like that annoys me. The new trend now, uh, you may see like the whole covered, uh, the the bag that you get is like a whole a little package, design, a whole package design. Like, like I love, I love the creativity behind it, but I've seen so much. Like, we don't need that for the plant. Mm. I want to see the plant unless that bag is keeping it human and fresh in there. The design is great. That are you a brand? Mm. Gotcha. Like, there's a Billy Kimber. Cookies. So these are brands that like they yeah, they're allowed to cookies. do stuff like that. You're just a street vendor. Like you're wasting your time doing this. Mm-hmm. To sell your to put in twenty five dollars eighth inside and then sell it for sixty because that's yeah. what's actually uh-huh. happening. People are paying extra money because the bag looks nice, but the butt in there it's trash. Man, yeah. right, it's right, not worth the product shit. that you're paying yeah. most of the time. I'm not so saying the, not everybody. The plants is more quality. It's more quality than the plants. Huh. Interesting. So how'd you get into this? And what were y'all first experiences trying weed? And what were y'all expectations and thoughts and feelings? Who's so, answering first? Yeah. yeah I, <laughs> and you. And me. <laughs> I'll go first. Um, so my first, I didn't smoke weed until oh, like. Shit, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> what, so, this is a different one. Yeah, I, I, I put some uh, biscotti in there. Who? Biscotti. Like okay. cookie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's yeah, not even talking about weed. He just crumpled some cookies. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, oh, shit. But as far as like a lot of people in New York City, at least, in the urban world, they tend to have smoked uh, pretty early in their teenage ages. And right. I didn't start smoking until I was at least 20. Yeah, because I've been knowing you since before then. Yeah, you, you definitely knew me yeah. way before I even started smoking. Yeah. Um, But it got to a point, like, I met some people that just... I didn't smoke at first because my brother, I didn't, I didn't know this at the time, but my my older brother was lacing his blunts, so mm-hmm. when he would smoke, it would fuck up my asthma, OD. Mm-hmm. So I, mm-hmm. my conception was, yo, if I smoke, I'm, my lungs is just gonna collapse. Gotcha. But then I met other people that I knew that had asthma or, or other stuff, and I was like, I'm gonna this fine. I'm, I'm gonna be fine. Let me. Get, I got stressed out one day. <laughs> um but got stressed hey. out and decided to smoke and then it was just Jeez, from there, i can't necessarily out. say like where it got to where i'm at now it's like a a large not a large but like a quick evolution mm-hmm. but as far as when i got into happy monkey that's that was just one of the things they used to have a a speakeasy lounge in the city. So when I I've was been seeing on your, when your, I was your working shirt. and stuff like that, I I was always that person that like tolerance was always high. I was always a person that know like oh you come to work high and you still getting shit done like you know the <laughs> I'm gonna go to you. So <laughs> other people was like telling me about this spot. Uh so I ended up going. Come mm-hmm. to find out, my uncle knows the owners. <laughs> Come to find out, my uncle grew up with the own like the founders <laughs> and shit like that. So uh-huh. it was just like I told them my talents. I was like, "This I'm a I'm a photographer. I'm a technician. Like, what what I have this to bring to the table. Also, I love buzz. So what's let's what's I up? see this going somewhere. Yeah, let's so let's let's partner up. And then ever since then, I was three years ago. Ever since then, wow, that developed to me meeting other activists that's in the in the community, <laughs> like, <laughs> other other brand. Uh, shit tons of brands like yeah. a, a lot of stuff has happened since then that's what's up I respect that OD uh, so fair, I, I would say I'm fairly new into just smoking and shit uh, I kind of I was never really into it until probably I went to Amsterdam and that kind of like 
I don't know what it was. It was that just last year? Amsterdam before. would do that to you. Yeah. No, but like, I still, but I wasn't buying here even right immediately after that. But I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, it's not yeah. that big of a deal. And then that's, yeah, that stigma kind of goes away it, after it, you've experienced it. Just yeah. Yeah, and it, like, especially in a legal environment too. Especially in a that legal shit is. And I, I was wondering, like, yo, is this shit really gonna be everywhere oh, there? And it well, is. Yeah. Literally it, 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 yeah. yeah. I just, I was like, I didn't know if it was just some touristy shit. Cause I don't. The locals say they don't really do it too much. That's, they actually. But, uh, I don't want to say that because yeah. it's facts, but I definitely read it somewhere that uh, UK is kind of like slow down how much they promote that there's a cannabis legal because they they want to like slow down the tour because a lot of tours just go just because it's a legal market yeah. instead of everything else that the country has to offer. Yeah. Mm. So well, it's technically not even legal in Amsterdam. It's there's decriminalized. Like some, there's like some stipulations. It's decriminalized, but they make so much money off the tourism, they ain't going to shut really? shit down. Yeah, hell Kind of no. like how, like the prostitutes. Thailand, Thailand and shit? Yeah. Like, yeah, no, I know. All that too, yeah. Yeah. I th- th- yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was legal there, <laughs> but then I was <laughs> like, well, oh, shit, was, that was there too. Yeah. <laughs> Off, not off topic, but on topic. I found out not too long ago that electric bikes and electric scooters are actually illegal. In yeah. Mexico. Oh yeah, yeah. In where? In, in the, the city. In the city. Electric bikes and vehicles. It, yeah. No scooters. scooters. So you know when your illegal. Uber driver pulls up in your little yeah. in that little Segway scooter. Yeah. He can get a ticket for that. I think it depends on how fast it goes. Nah, nah. It's over. I thought, no, that, I thought it's that was the whole. You can't even use the rebel. That was the whole rebel. Yeah, that's what I always thought. You can't even use the rebel. No, the rebel is actually. T- it's, you have to have a license to have a rebel. There's not just. I think they made it that you had to have a license. Because no, it was too many accidents, jump, so they yeah. said fuck that. Nah. Because I thought it went too fast. But the the pro- people like. People you want. Got, you got a dying. license. I don't got a license. You yeah. got a rebel account. You will just go pick it up and then I go drive it. Uh, I got you. Uh okay. That was the problem. I just thought it had to. It was wild in the summer with us. I didn't do that though. Like I thought, that, <laughs> oh, you got one? No, I, didn't. Oh. I also think like that's why Vespas were mad easy to have because it doesn't go. I think it doesn't like top forty. I think that's twenty five is what it is. That, is, it, that's, is it that's forty the, or thirty? Or maybe it's when I looked up the actual on paper law. Yeah. there's nothing that says anything about miles power. Wow, all right. If there's an if it's electric, it's not a manual motor. You get a ticket for that. Well, why? <laughs> <laughs> you guys know about so much shit. <laughs> that, 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 but that, that, I mean, even that, like, laws, a lot of laws don't make sense. Like, like, especially with the whole weed legalization thing. Like, weed, I think we're getting better as a society of kind of just saying, you know, normalizing it like recreational use kind of like how drinking is right you know like everyone we come here we have a beer all the time Mm -hmm. like i think recreationally you'll see marijuana be like uh the new well we almost started a war when alcohol was Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah. banned. like it's like nah we're not Mm -hmm. fucking having this yeah i need my drink (laughs) it's not it's not fair that someone can come from a war come back from iraq and not take a blunt yeah Shit, they can't even like, drink if they went to war at 18 and came back at 19. You can't drink yet. <laughs> can't drink like, You're right. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, that's some bullshit. Yeah. Because yeah. if you go over there, you can definitely drink You can do a lot of yeah. shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was talking to my older brother. He's in the Navy. He's been in the Navy since he was 18, but he's a, he's a military policeman for him. the Navy now. Dope. In LA, in a legal market, can't, cannot consume any bit of cannabis whatsoever. What would happen? Like, they'll discharge him or something? They'll discharge him. Damn. Wow. Damn. They don't all those military benefits, suspension, all that shit would be wow. gone. Wow, they don't they don't play with that shit. What were we just talking about? Like yesterday? You, yeah, yeah, yesterday. If you were just, you can't just like leave. Yeah, <laughs> this nigga's nigga on the run from me. Like, that's not for me. This nigga's on the run. My brother like, would be the one trying to find. Like, what if you could just like purpose? That's crazy. What if you like purposely? And they'll find him, right? Yeah, yeah, he'll find him. They'll find him. If you like missing and shit, they'll find you. If you purposely miss like gunshots and like the in like the shooting rounds, can you just be like 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 nah? I just suck. I can't do this anymore. Every way, yo, I think I'll be good at. it. I'm a good shot on Call of Duty. I'm good at paintball. I'm like, let me go to let me go to arm. I can help. They'll throw your ass in the kitchen. And then after that, you go to. You don't know how to aim? Cool, here's a med pack. <laughs> go, you can't shoot a bullet and go find a vein and shit. <laughs> go pitch a tent. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> this shit's wild. I'm talking about... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Going to war and realize like, yo, these niggas ain't playing. <laughs> they dead ass. They shoot back. Yeah, I'm cool. I want to go home. Those, but those people, they deserve to come home 
Even if they can't smoke, have an edible. Like, I'm a liability. We're going to lose the war because I ain't helping. That's too much stress on them. Yeah. But I was I was wondering, like... Remember getting drafted? My bad. Oh, that's oh, OD. Yeah, fuck that. Um, Not today. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, like, we were talking about, like, uh, prohibition. Like, they made alcohol illegal. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then they saw, okay, we could just tax the shit out of you, and there's a whole lot of money to be made on this. They're about to make weed legal, right? So, like, what was the with that Nancy Reagan shit back in the day? Like the, the don't do drugs or whatever, dare, dare, yeah, oh yeah, the, the dare shit. Like, oh, all drugs are Bro, bad. Every Unless, is that an acronym? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Dr- drugs the... are really expensive. <laughs> 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 um, Yo, if you even go to the arcade, every uh. Every video game, like Marvel vs. Capcom, winners don't use drugs. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, that was it. Was all, like it was start off the game? St- like it started that. in the Reagan era. The whole yeah. the whole war on drugs started with Reagan. It it started on the whole racist thing. Yeah, was, how can I extra put these extra people in the system before before Reagan? Like, you go to the back <laughs> then Rite Aid and <laughs> get a whole like in something infused as far as medicine. Like, <laughs> it started with with Reagan and. and his racist ways. And it just kept trickled down through the system. Yeah. And that's bullshit. Because basically what they tell you is drugs are bad unless we sell them to you. Essentially. It, that's fucked up. But even like, not even, but you said weed as a medicine too. Like, it's healthier than a lot of the alternative, like the me- traditional big pharma medicine that we have. Yeah, big pharma. They, I just read this study. That it would show that in any, any city slash town... That has at least one or two dispensaries open. There's a fifteen percent drop in opioid use. What? Just one or two dispensaries in that town. Fifteen percent of opioid use declines. And opioids are heroin. It's exactly, mm-hmm. which is crazy. Probably just has to do. With, uh, you gotta think ease of access and like I don't know. There's gotta. It's more. Of, it's like a mentality thing. A mental thing. I'm bugging. But like, <laughs> <laughs> you high, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a mental thing, probably. That well, affects, yo, like once you start talking, I can't get. How many people you think doing or... drugs right now, doing it because it's just because it's illegal, or it's like the cool thing to do, or some shit like that, or like or because it's hard, I'm gonna try and do it because it's challenging. So it's funny because they they there was a before Colorado made it recreation illegal. Mm-hmm. That was one of the the stipulation. Oh, now that's illegal. All the the young kids is they gonna see it as okay, and then they gonna start smoking it. But the it's been several years, no, and chill. there's been no change as far as teenagers mm-hmm. in consuming it. Mm-hmm. Teen- there's going to be teenagers that does it. I don't write, you shouldn't do it until your brain is fully developed, because it does affect your brain. Mm-hmm. So you shouldn't smoke until you've, your brain is fully developed. But unfortunately, we live in a real world, and there are going to be situations that it happen. But that, they're going to happen I, either, either way. I feel like in those situations, it being legal and it's okay in the world, it's it's less of a situation because that rebel against I'm gonna rebel, I'm gonna do it because it's against the rules. That 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 factor for marijuana uh, cannabis goes away once it's legal. Yeah. Like I and mean it's literally like I can I can go have a seed, put it in a put it outside and grow it. Like it, it's literally a natural plant. Yeah. And then even just the legalization of it, more places will just lead to more research because now more people are going to want to know how else can I use this and monetize off of this. CBD oils, I mean, it's been it's fully legal, like I think everywhere. And all, I don't know if it's there's, all. There's still, is there some states that there's are that, definitely still some stipulations? Like CBD is legal, but New York recently just uh, stopped. If there's any CBD infused foods, you can't sell it. But they're not. Sh- is that really? I don't I don't know uh, where that status, but that was like, a good bo- definitely before Rona. Uh, but it was like yeah, I still the, see the gummies the, out because Delis never took it out. Yeah, well, yeah, like, De- the, Delis never took out the plastic never bags out, either. So. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but there definitely was at a point where it was like, oh, you you selling CBD infused food like gummies, yeah. anything that's yeah. edible with CBD? No, that's that's not allowed anymore. All right, but you could still because but you could but still you could use still the get effects. Some CBD audio. Yeah, like because a lot of people use it during like spas and massages, and it, it's supposed to add the relaxation factor. I seen soap so, like, that comes with this shit. Yeah, probably yeah, yeah. anything that could, you could lather. Probably mm. KY. Nah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Those yeah. Wait, How KY jelly with uh, calm, it's definitely in KY calm jelly. your dick yeah. down. <laughs> Without a doubt, yo, you too hard, fam. You, you need this. You, this hands down. <laughs> they said hands down. <laughs> 
but yeah, and I, I think we asked earlier, like, uh, like, is it slow for the drug dealer? And like, where, where are these spots going to go? You know what? Like, we're, like they're yeah. already up. <laughs> I'm just telling you now, if you see any vape smoke shop right now it's gonna be a cd a dispensary they're probably working on the paperwork right now getting that well, shit how ready. does that work is that easy to do like to be a dispensary right away no you need about two million dollars in capital you bro- oh. to, to open up a dispensary from from the ground up well, and that also depending on the state you're at you have to determine some states you can't even grow your own cannabis and you have to buy it from a, a local gro- or grower you can't go out of state mm-hmm. to get your grower. So the way it is right now in New York, because it's legal medically, any any cannabis that you get, it has to be grown in, in New York with their verified growers. Mm. So like once it gets legal, like it's that black market is still going to be there. But for the consumer, the better thing is they're going to know exactly what they're getting. I know when I'm buying Gelato 44, I'm getting Gelato 44. I know when I look at this button that has... This shiny because of these terps on it. I know it's not because you put baking soda because you wanted it to look better. Yeah. Damn. What? I heard. I that's, that's, messy, that's a thing. <clears throat> I, I heard that's a thing. Yeah. Really? You There's a whole nother world that like it's just like out there that I have you no think idea. It, it's not it's even. Crazy, it, it's probably gonna open up even more soon. <laughs> I'm interested to see. Honestly, like I'm honestly curious. Don't think I'll be a part of that world, but I definitely watch from the outside. Like, oh, I see you <laughs> Yeah, wow. <wallet. Yeah. laughs> but the good thing about cannabis itself is that. You don't have to ever even touch the bud itself mm-hmm. and still be able to profit from it. Exactly. Cannabis, yeah. is, cannabis itself, the plant itself has so many extra properties outside. Even of hemp, hemp too. The hemp itself, you can, you can make you, you can make a whole house out of straight hemp. Crazy, fam. I've been trying to hemp, invest hemp. in weed stocks lately, bro. Like, because I is, know, like, you can, it's you can go up. You can go ahead and sell soil to growers mm. that's gonna make their cannabis. <laughs> There's companies out there they they make they dropped it. Is that, is they right make the floor? they make a bunch of <laughs> they make uh, industrial air purifiers mm-hmm. for grow houses. There's a lot they, of money. There's, in a, this there's shit. a whole other world just off the plant being legal. There's so much money and it has nothing, even nothing to do with smoking it. Yeah, that's, that's whatsoever. A, that's a crazy business. So, like weed stocks, is it you're investing in like the companies themselves, not just like like you don't invest in like a strain or some shit, right? No, it's just the actual <laughs> companies that yeah, are the it. company. But uh, if that company has strains, yeah. So like mm-hmm. right now, the, a, a popular uh, cannabis stock is Sundial. Yeah, I got like a bunch of those. I'm not sure uh, where it's at right now, but Sundial. It's, it's it's like a dollar forty right now. But once it goes once it goes yeah. legal, places like Medmen can have stock. Oh. Yeah, I'm keeping those. I got a so, I got a bunch of those. Medman, I was wondering which one. <laughs> I got Afria. That shit's blowing mine lately. Afria's been going up and down. It, it went from it's, sixteen to twenty-seven to thirty-six. I don't know, my shit says minus down. two dollars on the total earnings right now, and I'm kind of tight. Afria? Yeah. No, you're, you're, I think you're I mixing it up. I'm, you're mixing it up because no, 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 it's not too because I'll be losing. I that. think I bought it at the beginning of the decline, so I'm kind of tight. Stocks is a whole other episode. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we we visited we, that. Yeah, we <laughs> I like Reddit. They've been going ham on the weed stocks. They call it gang weed. And like they had Tilray go all the way up in like a couple days, just to boost it up. And then they sold it. Then it went all the way back down. That shit went up to like sixty five, seventy five dollars. That's definitely you got to. But then it you just dropped down it when it's on there. Yeah, yeah. But I'm I'm, I'm expecting with the, the more and more legalization that's gonna happen throughout the country. So you told me sure. you told me earlier that you don't smoke. I don't. Right. You say that you had a bad experience. Right. I had a bad what, experience. Tell me about that. What, all right. What, so what that happened? bad experience. Uh. I was straight edge for like pretty much until I was like late 21, 22. This is by choice. Like, if I ever say, yo, I'm not going to do something, I, I, I normally yeah, commit like, to I've, I've known you since. What, yeah, exactly. Like, what, exactly. Like I, 16, I wasn't 15, drinking. Like, yeah, yeah, I wasn't drinking like, anything. Nah. Look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> Cheerio. <laughs> but yeah, um, I just decided I, I want I want to wait to try that shit. And uh, it's been times where every I'm always around the homies. And all the homies, they always be smoking and shit like that. They all pass. I'm like, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. So Alvin, you know Alvin, Tommy Two Phones. He was like, "Yo, shout out to Tommy. Guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. shout out to him. He got shout grow house and shit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit too. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so he was like, "Yo, promise me that when you finally do it for the first time, I'm there with you." I'm like, "I bet." Also, I'm not gonna cut. I'm yeah. gonna cut you off because 
I said the same thing to my brother, yeah. and this motherfucker went and did it without me. Damn. Oh. Mm. Mm. But I was loyal. I was loyal. I went. Yeah. It Fuck was you, one. No oh, crazy. shit. <laughs> he, he name dropped him. Uh, <laughs> I actually remember it was like Mother's Day. I remember like I, yeah. I, oh, Mother's I, Day. I took my mom and grandmother out. We went out for uh, like brunch. Smirk. And he hit me up. said, yo, I have an edible if you want to try it. I'm like, fine. I don't mind. So I met him. We're in the car. I ate half of a fucking cookie. I'm like, all right, it's cool. It tastes like a good ass cookie. I remember saying, yo, I'm going to just go to McDonald's right quick and walk down the block and go to McDonald's. So I get to McDonald's. I'm chilling. I'm walking back to the crib. And that shit, that experience, just it just knocked me. Hit. I feel like I was just walking in place, but the the, 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 the place was coming closer to me. Like, it, it was just <laughs> wild. I'm like, what the fuck? It was on a treadmill. And then, and then when I'm walking up the stairs, I feel like I'm on a Stairmaster just going up. And I'm not getting any closer <laughs> to my destination. So I finally made it to the crib. I'm like, yo, I think this shit is, is kicking in. I kind of fuck with it. It's interesting. This is dude. This is some brand new shit. So he put on some music, and I swear, the music that he put on, it sounded like the best shit I ever heard in my life. So that was Ugly God? It was Ugly God yeah. Water. <laughs> and uh, what's the name? Um, Famous Dex. I, got, I forgot the name of the song. Probably Unpaid. Nervous. Famous Dex Unpaid. And he just danced. I'm like, yo, this is colorful. I'm like, yo, this shit is amazing. <laughs> Until the song finished. And then after that, I felt like my heart would just... Just being palpitating, older. palpitating, going hard. Boom, 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 boom. And I close my eyes and I feel like I'm like sinking and shit like that. I feel like I was going to die. I'm like, yo, this ain't good. He's like, yo, just drink some water. You be all right. <laughs> I drank the water. I feel like I, I felt worse. I don't know why. I feel, like I, was, I feel like I literally was about to die. I was like, yo, bro. So knowing what I know now, yeah. back in the day, we've been in the same situation. Like, oh, there's a cookie. Yeah. Like, think about half or whatever. Mm-hmm. But knowing what I know now it, and knowing Tommy Two Phones. Yeah, that probably, <laughs> that probably was a 500 milligram cookie. Oh, so, yeah, I don't know. On your first took, you probably took I, 250 probably. milligrams of, of a edible. Yeah. That's highly unrecommended because you will have a bad experience. It was a your terrible body, your body I thought not, I was going to die. <laughs> your body is not ready for that. Yeah. You, you should have did. No no disrespect to Tommy, it's the homie. But <laughs> if he had any gummies and it's like a gummy bear situation, right? One gummy bear is about 10, 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, minutes. I ate half a cookie. Yeah, yeah like well. you you took too much on your first time. Yeah. I'm not saying to give it another shot. It's okay. your, your life. But <laughs> if you were ever to decide, I'm going to try this again, yeah. In edible form, 10 milligrams. As far as smoking wise, yeah. one or two puffs should be fine. Yeah, cause, cause I I went to the hospital that day. Like I really thought I was gonna they die. They laughed at you, <laughs> yo. So because I was like, yo, is he good? So yeah, some tacky shit. They, 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 like, they see fuck. this shit all the time, especially now in legal markets. Legal this markets, fucking markets, lightweight. They, they that, yeah, they, they said my situation was tacky. I'm like, nigga, I'm dying. <laughs> That's I'm, some shit. I'm literally on my deathbed right now. Yeah, yo, we got real people dying. I want to stop this shit right there. Like, bro, it's tacky, right? I'm dead now. Clean me up, nigga. The fuck? You imagine going to the hospital for some serious. Shit, like you got a shower, that shit tacky. tacky. Yo, he literally said some Asian doctor. I, I'll never forget. He says, "What's this situation here? What's some tacky shit?" Smoke something. I'm like, <laughs> they cut your oh, ass I'm really off myself now, nigga. <laughs> but yeah, that was a bad yeah. experience. But I feel I, you. I can definitely understand why yeah. not. In a hundred percent legal market, something like that would have yeah. never happened. Bro, I, it, like that the day after, I went on Reddit just to like see, like, yo, am I, the only am I one? good? Yo, yeah, nigga, I've seen thousands and thousands of people who have the same. How you type in Google, like, I'm I good? <laughs> <laughs> yo, y'all good? niggas have uh... a. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you Google, I'm I good, it's going to immediately go to weed shit. Like, yeah, you good, bro. In the bold letters. <laughs> give me the New York definition. Yeah, you I. Right. <laughs> my good. Yeah, you I. Right. You straight. <laughs> yeah, well, Reddit. They said they had like the same experience, like doing you uh, edibles on first time. Yeah. I probably should have ate. If you would have ate some chicken wings, you would have been great, yeah. bro. And a lot of people say uh, that's, that's what it says. A lot. You type in my good, nah, you great, <laughs> great my dude. You good, my dude. That's but yeah, um, they was like they were saying like yeah, edibles could be like that. It's different. Don't don't knock this experience from the experience you'll get if you yeah. actually so smoke one it. One thing, one thing I I recently learned this. Even though I've, I've been heavy in the community for the past three years, <clears throat> I Real recently legend. learned this a couple of months ago. So. The reason edibles hit you so hard and also why it makes you go to sleep is that w- the way it's cooked and the heating up of the, the cannabis itself, mm-hmm. it releases something called CBM. Mm-hmm. So that that chemical CBM is what hits your bloodstream faster and what makes you go to sleep. Mm. 
I was scared to go to sleep. Like, dead ass. Because <laughs> I'm like, damn, it's over. You would have been knocked out, though. You, yeah. You been... Yeah, that's another thing. TKO. The, 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 that, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that shit lasted hours. That, yeah. Because of the way it flows into your bloodstream. Oh, it, my it's, God. It's going to your digestive system now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, that's... The, yeah, that shit lasted too so, long. I'm like, yeah, this is... Because Not and because of me. how much you took, yeah, you was yeah you was probably on it for a good six hours. Yeah, at least at least I, I slept there. <laughs> yeah. So now if you would have took acid, oh teachers, <laughs> what's that about? That's just like that's a it's. I seen my homies walking down the street. Not for the weak heart at all. I seen my niggas high on, on acid just walking down the block. Yo, y'all good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I'm like, yo, why the homie four Fuck blocks me. ahead of you, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> He was four years ahead of you. No, you imagine he was in the future, shit. <laughs> so like, yo, it was. I, I would never like. It was literally a day. Us four went to a Nick game, and I seen the homie. I ain't gonna say his name. Y'all know the homie. <laughs> I'm Can you like, like, yo, you like good? Like, yeah. like a racehorse. Oh yeah, yeah. What's <laughs> your story right there, Nick? <laughs> chilling. Yeah, I'm chilling. <clears throat> Kept moving. Then I seen the other homie. I'm like, yo, I just seen what's the name. Like, yeah, yeah, right. You good? It's right. Like, yeah. <laughs> Just did a, a, a some acid. I'm like, oh, word. Oh, word. Why are you all the way down the block? Though? <laughs> it's all good. And he just kept moving. Like, wow, enjoy that. <laughs> so you you had experience with that before? So I take, bro. I'm gonna go live real quick. Okay, <laughs> I'll do that. Do that. <clears throat> so yeah, I definitely, man. I I've been taking acid for about a year and a half, mm-hmm. maybe two years max, but. It's definitely been nonstop since then. And it's definitely one of those experiences like like when they the whole open up your third eye, like that's that's a hundred percent fact. There's a lot of things really? that just like makes a lot of sense. Oh, it's all flat, I but feel that, and them was talking like, shit. <laughs> I feel that though. That a lot of people land. they would say they would have a spiritual like I'm not necessarily a hundred percent a spiritual not necessarily spiritual, but like a religious person. So I can't right. say that I had a, a spiritual experience with it. But there was more things to <clears throat> the realization that like there's definitely like the one thing that made a lot of that was just this this lets me know there's more there because when you're tripping on acid you're definitely seeing different types of shapes and geometrical figures. connections that's, and figures that's there not necessarily something that's not there you're not hallucinating you're not gonna necessarily see a dragon that's not there however the way these shapes are interacting with each other definitely looks much different than you when you're not tripping. Could you imagine you looking at pussy? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is that the person you're looking for when you... I just would have thought... You, I think that would be the most traumatizing <laughs> shit. Traumatizing? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 it, it if may. you would think you would come out against a pussy, that shouldn't look like pussy, you wouldn't be like a little freaking out. I don't know. That's exactly... <laughs> <laughs> what I what I can tell you is that when you are on acid, it's definitely a very physical and s- sensational uh, experience. Mm. So anything of your body part that's already sensitive, it's extra and sensitive. Oh, you gonna be oh. so <laughs> shoot. If you so what you did now? Look what he's gonna do after the podcast. The moon. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> they're going to shroom just to masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> but, Fuck it. I mean, if, if that's what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. So he's looking at the wall like, damn, this shit hard. But this shit, oh. yo, but you, your dead ass look at the wall for hours. That's a sexy ass wall. I ain't gonna like, hold you. Paint that just hold right there. That, that shit, shit starting to look like pussy. Bro, <laughs> if we we all grew up in New York, so we all had them ceilings that look yeah. like the little CDs and shit. Oh. Yeah, bro, that, shit <laughs> oh, no. that shit looks like a flowing river. Oh yeah, you were stuck in the, looking at the ceiling yeah. for hours. <laughs> I was tripping on acid. It's amazing. Damn. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Not only that, it should last about minimum, you know, if you get a good one, as you should, but minimum from 12 to 15 hours. Whoa. Oh, no. See, that's, that's the thing I don't deep. like. That's the thing I like the least You can't about. get like the, uh, a free no, trial version? <laughs> you can microdose. How much? How, how long But the thing I... is, the micro microdose is more... You're not gonna get the whole trip experience. Yeah, ah, it's right. a, it's definitely a very feel good drug. I feel like whenever I'm on acid, like I'm very optimistic. I'm, listen, shit. Not only do I come up with amazing ideas, like, real, write that down. <laughs> <laughs> this is, it's like, bro, <laughs> bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Tim Burton definitely took acid. I can oh, see that. Half the motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Like, for twelve hours is all deep. I can get yeah, the I demo. I, I wish the demo version. <laughs> 
They no, film movies this, on this twelve hours of acid. You can you can take mushrooms. Mushrooms. Is oh no, nah, but cool it's not that. this. It's not the same experience. There's I, no, I seen there's no a six hour acid like. Yeah, Leo had to be on some shit during Wolf of Wall Street. Yo, uh, <laughs> so I don't hit one shit. of them fucking pills, man. That shit makes me so sad. So sad. What he said that but, with the biggest smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> but I've take I've taken DMT. Oh, what's and that? that shit, a lot of a lot of spiritual people do DMT. A lot of spiritual you, like Absol. I didn't even know what the fuck. What that, is that uh, shit? Pineal gland. Know, you ever heard pineal gland by Absol? No. Your pineal gland is the the, the third, third eye. eye right? Oh, that, okay. Right. Oh, you, gotta, you, you, know, you did, that, That's yeah. right. I be feeling my shit. Oh, no, <laughs> hey, yo. You rubbing that shit? <laughs> oh, damn. Like, what the fuck is this tingly? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Pineal gland my heart, bro. <laughs> 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 hey, baby. Oh, shit. Man. Fuck that. Yeah. But what does DMT stand for? <laughs> nah, I'm bad. What is it? What is it? What the easier answer is? It's... It's a, it's a, it's a very DM. So tripping on DMT will tell you about yourself. So any, like if you oh, bottle shit, shit up, that bottle is gonna open up. and We're dealing with it. What's up? Who's weird? <laughs> all, all, all two of you. Yeah. <laughs> you find the, your astral projection. Right, come here, come here, come here. You want to fight? So, <laughs> but it's definitely, it's, it's one of those things you have to be mentally pre- prepared for. It's definitely not for a faint heart. Why do I feel like this is like a Doctor Strange part two and shit? Like you just projecting into different worlds and shit. That's exactly what it. Those are visual experiences. Exactly what you'll see when you're tripping on DMT. Oh, shit. Wow. Not like not verbatim, but that type of. Astro- you smoke that or not? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, you smoke it. So, what experience have you had when you did it? Like. So the last time I did it, <laughs> you gotta think if you gotta answer if you wanted to answer this question. Last time, last time I did it was uh around, on my birthday. Uh, it was upstate, and I had some. So like visually, it was one of those. So like you know when you close your eyes and like you see like the bunch of little stars the colors like that? and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was, fuck with that. Shit. It was a lot Any of that, channels? but the each star like had a line connected them, right? Mm-hmm. So it was like me looking at those lines, and then. That plane like became almost like 3D, as if like the plane itself of stars just like flattened, and then another one was on top of it, and like I shot through those planes, and they like collapsed. With... It's one of those things like <laughs> it's hard to like try to explain that Doctor Strange episode. I mean, scene yeah. when he like goes through those projections. Like yeah. it's one of those things you just have to experience. Yeah. Like you can't so, you yeah. can't explain it whatsoever. But it's definitely an out of body experience. I wish I could control that shit. Like, I wish I could yeah. say, like, All right, I don't want to be high no more. L- lie to me. So there, there are ways that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what does that mean? I mean? What language is that? Just, I thought, I thought that right show was about to come down from the sky when he put his hands that's up. I'm like, oh, are we all tripping? Just snap the fucking lighter out of nowhere. Okay. That's some inspirational yeah. shit. Yeah. Lighter? That green thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that's fun. Would you ever get but, offended if someone smoked someone else's weed in front of you? What do you mean by smoke someone else's weed? Like, cause you have your own shit. Would you feel some type of way if someone else preferred to smell smoke someone else's shit? No. So within the community, I mean, he's offering you. It's like yeah. that, that out of the fact you that he ain't gonna give you. Shit. <laughs> so one thing that's like within the cannabis community, they're they're very open. Like especially growers they want you to try what they they're very happy like th- i grew this i want you to try it let me know how this is so that's like, what i'm saying like yeah like there's, there's, that. there's the 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 only thing that you'll really see is like i won't people won't share their blunts mm. type oh, thing everybody got their own. Guys, like i don't i don't want to share this with you type thing not necessarily because i don't like your texture but like this this is oh. this is my lips this is mine and in jamaica they have a saying is if it's a uh a spliff to lip so they'll give they just have Cannabis out, and you roll yours. Like we're all smoking together, but you're smoking yours. Yeah, and it's not necessarily a disrespectful thing. It depends on where you at. It depends mm. on the people. Mm. But like the, most people I've experienced, that I've been around, they they're very happy to share. They, I want you to experience what I'm experiencing. It's not like drug dealing. It's not like oh, you you on my turf now or some shit like that. Not at all. It's not yeah. like yeah. it's not a it's not a oh my shit is better than yours, so mm-hmm. don't touch mine's. Yeah, 
Most of those people just stay home and smoke by themselves anyway. Uh. Oh, dear. <laughs> we were talking about the names, though, before. Like yeah. the the strains and shit, because we we I mean I got we a talk- question too. Go ahead. Yeah, because we were talking about like cookies, like you know, there's like different types of cookies. There's pies. There's like berry pie, cherry pie, lemon pie. Like, is there a method to all that shit? Like, can you just call your shit? Uh, it's something pie. It's something cookies, biscottis. I got Oreos. The office so, London. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes and no. The the short answer is that. Whoever grew it, they have control of what to name it. So whatever uh, whatever they want to name is what they, what they're gonna name it. I always a lot to of situations concept. is like names get changed, or because is we're not in a legal market, people are not necessarily know what they're getting. <laughs> they're just grabbing stuff and they're like, yeah, not necessarily know. They're just gonna call it whatever they want. But situations like <clears throat> like runs, yeah. Runts is gelato. The strain that you're smoking is gelato. They wanted to change the name to Runts because Runts sounds much better. Wasn't Runts candy? Gelato sounds delicious to me. I don't know, but maybe I'm. Gelato does sound. Maybe. Nigga said maybe. Gelato does sound delicious, but Runts sells better because now I can use that Runts brand. Yeah. But they they, now now they just the Runts brand is just like Willy Wonka actually told them like, I you gotta cease and desist, champ. Like this Mm. it's time to stop. The same thing happened with uh, Gorilla, Gorilla Glue. That was another popular strain. Yeah. GG. They Man. just changed it to GG41 or, or GG30. It's like they just changed the name because Gorilla Glue, the company, was like, y'all got to stop. I don't Cut believe. this shit out. So what's good with Reggie, though? Because like, so why is Reggie, that like a bad thing? <laughs> Reggie, and why don't people still smoke it if it's <laughs> what's bad? Good, what's good with Reggie? <laughs> what's good with the Reggies? So, and what <laughs> Reggie is this based off of? Reggie Bush. <laughs> Reggie Bush? Yeah. No. No, that's no. not what <laughs> Is it Reggie from Rocket Power? No. <laughs> just regular. He looked high. It's, 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 it's no, 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 no. Reggie New York has heard of Reggie Miller for a passion. No, Reggie, <laughs> Reggie from Rocket Power got to be at least 25 right now. He's yeah. definitely high. So, like, if you, if you have exotics, this is the top top of the line. Reggie is the bottom of the line. Yeah. Just, but yeah, why this Reggie? Is regular bud. But yeah, why? Just, oh, because Reggie is regular. Regular. Just, regular. Just regular. It's not gonna really. If you've never smoked before, okay. Reggie gonna Reggie gonna hold so you why, through. So why 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 do why does <laughs> the you, experience go back to that? I don't think you mean? choose to smoke Reggie, do you? Is that like the equivalent? Like, yo, if you had a barbecue, like, there's no no you burgers, you so you get a hot dog. Yeah, is that what shit. that is? If you come to a cannabis party and you didn't bring in no bud, and all the bud that's there is Reggie, guess what you smoke? Doesn't taste bad. <laughs> like, is, it, <laughs> is it really that bad though? It it don't taste good. To people, that, if you smoke, man, we you, you can just had some very different. tasty, very tasty buds. Yeah, it damn sure was not Reggie. <laughs> I've just had three different flavors in the past. 49 minutes and I could you could like tell the difference and right. I don't know what he's, it is he's had different. white Tahoe <laughs> Skywalker OG and Biscotti I treat my people nice shit cheerio my guy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, so then like what makes something like quote unquote exotic like when can I like you know how a Honda isn't a foreign you know isn't that like the quality in the strains? grow and after like the quality of TSC like how much Terps is on it okay uh how uh, a lot of times is how it look, honestly. That shit got a little like, frosty. I, I thought the, it, the, the TSC the TSC count to it as well. Okay. Don't don't think I might be I might be tripping. Clearly, I, I don't know this shit, but don't they like, if they confuse two different strains like a hybrid? Usually, isn't that term- so, uh, uh, a hybrid? Uh, that would be called cloning. What you're talking? They mix two different strains to oh, make okay. another strain. I thought that was like, a lot of strains like, these days are, well, or... are two different strains mixed together. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. So they'll have they'll have two parent strains is what they they'll call it. So that's called cloning. But a hybrid would be this is a mix between an indica and a sativa. It's, it's like in the uh, in between those. Got and that's you. what they'll call something a hybrid. Got you. Yeah. Fuck Leafly. <laughs> Leafly. <laughs> Leafly's, no, Leafly. Leafly's no Leafly's, Leafly's weed. Leafly's so, <laughs> yeah. What is Leafly? Leafly it's, a, it's like it's like a, like a, after, it's like, like a Yelp for weed. Oh. <laughs> that's a, that's a so there's gonna be yeah. like a delivery service for this it's shit. Already, it already is weed map. <laughs> Yeah. Weed maps. Is it in New York? No. no. I might need to buy not, some stocks or some shit. <laughs> it's been out for a minute. They had it in Cali. Oh, yeah, because you had a several, yeah. There's weed yeah. maps. There's, uh, there's another company called in Cali. 
uh, ease, ease. Is there any in New York yet? Well, it's not legal in it. It's only medically. No, I'm saying, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I need, to, I need to invest in a New York one. Under Cuomo's, under Cuomo's, uh, thing, like deliveries is not legal. Ooh. So even even if Cuomo makes it legal right now, we still won't get a delivery service. Really? Legal. Why though? That's paperwork. Somebody. That's what they signed off on. Yeah, my bucket. That shit. How is that under the plate? What do you mean? <laughs> you see that? Oh, the smoke. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 Yo. <laughs> Am I tripping? No, no I see. Nah, it was definitely Wait, where'd it go? It moved because I. Uh, <laughs> put it back! Where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what other, what other boss, bothersome questions have you had? Bothersome. Oh, these aren't bothersome. No, no, no I, I enjoyed it. Like, any, any I enjoyed it. Um, we talked about the different types of high. Talked about me not doing this shit because I don't want me personally. The reason why I won't do this, uh, get into weed because I don't want to form another habit. <laughs> I already got my vice, and that's mainly liquor. But that I feel like that's mainly. one of those. The, the, the like you shouldn't look at it as a vice at all. The same no, way, it's another the, habit. The, too, the same way you take a, a. I'm gonna take a quick brewski right here. Yeah, I'm gonna smoke a blunt and watch this movie. That should be making y'all hungry though, right? No. There, there are some, there are some strains. <laughs> that niggas be starving. Ways. I seen, I seen y'all niggas order the whole McDonald's yeah. menu. Well, I'm like, munchies damn. is definitely a thing without a doubt. <laughs> yeah. So that's a, that's another thing. Like, but it on the breakdown. What, what yo, you two big ass cats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you sure they weren't? Them shit's just as huge. I swear to God. <laughs> I thought I was tripping. No, no, no. no. <laughs> yeah, that, you got hard. That smoke yeah. was never there. Now you wildin'. It's, all, it's gonna be on camera. I swear to God. No, that smoke was there. I seen it. I seen that it. smoke was there. I'm just sitting there like, yo, how's that shit chilling <laughs> under the plate like that? But yeah, what was I saying? Uh, munchies. Oh yeah, it's, it, it like that's a, a huge thing, and I don't, I don't want to be a part of that. I, I spent too much money already. I spent too much money on food already, and I only eat twice a day, and I still be feeling like, damn, that's too much. So, I'm not gonna say that munchies is not a common side effect. No, it's not. But I've seen it. There are ways to consume without worrying about munchies. You can consume it while you're you eating. Go to sleep. I, no. <laughs> <laughs> what you having for dinner? Sleep. <laughs> that's sleep. Yeah, that's, that's like, what was real. You can have an infused steak dinner, and then that's your consumption of of your cannabis. Okay. And you're not gonna get munchies after that. No, you ain't yeah, I think we would ever be like a thing that you were smoking, like like for like how cigar bar works. I mean, that's that's how Happy Monkey started. Mm. We was like a, a spe- weed we speakeasy. was a speakeasy a weed lounge. Easy. You could come there, and is that a legal thing that you can do? Mm-mm. We that's started we started it and stopped, but it was one of those things like either we wait until it gets yeah. the legal market and wait and wait and wait, or we just we just fucking do it. Just do it. Man. Just fucking do it. Just like, fucking a lot it. of a lot of things that you just sitting sitting on, just like yo, should I, man, do should it. I, just do should, it. yo, just start, just literally, just start and fucking do it. Do it. Three years later, we out here. And we have a major media. We're not even worried about it. like that's that's not a thing anymore. The speakeasy for us, we're way more focused on our media consumption. And if there's a before Rona, we was doing pop ups for these. Uh, cannabis events. Mm-hmm. So there was uh, there's events in uh, in Boston that they have. We had we had a after party for them. <clears throat> I, I can't remember the name right now, but BizCon in in Vegas. We had an after party for BizCon in Vegas. Oh, before pre Rona. Mm-hmm. So that's more the the focus that we're at now. And as far as bringing that media consumption to you, as far as bringing you that information. How can I? How can I get my medical card? What it? What the? What did cannabis look like bringing into New York City from people that was actually doing it within the coach? I speaking to people that's in Canada right now in their legal market. So that's definitely the the route that we're at as far as Happy Monkey. I want you. You spoke on something just now about like getting the information out, how to like get it. You know, get licensed to be able to make money off of this, and that's something. Like, I, I don't know how real these stats are, but I'd be seeing shit on Instagram and shit. But it was something like 90% of the legal cannabis market is not, like, a black owned, it's not black owned or, uh, not, not at all. It's, it's, it's white men. White men. 
have they, a they stranglehold on this shit. Stranglehold in the legal cannabis market. Damn, bro. How? <laughs> like, stranglehold. How can, but how, like, what can we do to, I mean, and uh, you're probably probably working on this, but what can we do to make sure that we have equity? Like, the, like you said, the culture or the people that are really pushers of uh, a lot of what goes on in cannabis, whether it's the naming conventions of it, what, how you see it in popular culture, how can we sh- ensure that, like, these groups have equity when it does come time to make a profit off of this? Honestly, it's it's uh, talking to organizations that's already probably that's so like organizations like normal, um, and making sure you talk know your your local lawmakers because mm. those are the people that you need to talk to that are gonna say yay or nay to what you want to get done in your in your city in your town. I'm pretty sure some of them smoke too. Well, of what? course, smoke. You think Cuomo smoke? Hell oh, yeah. Holly, what he he has nipple rings. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> he be I've, smoking I've, coke I've off those strippers. Politicians. <laughs> oh, mm. the black no, ones? no, not yeah. They uh, were they were not no. Well, in some white politicians. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, I know they do the but hard like, drugs. I know that you can tell. They like, definitely do the hard drugs. They do the hard shit. The but like yeah, angel dust. No, I, yeah. oh, oh. Come on. I don't know about all that. <laughs> I wasn't there for that. Andrew Yang yeah, doing angel dust is wild. <laughs> That's oh, whoa. <laughs> Damn, drinking mad hard. <laughs> Dog is thirsty. <laughs> Dog definitely high. That's crazy. Oh shit. Dog hot. <laughs> yeah, eyes red as shit. <laughs> it's cool for animals to be high. We nah, got- man. <laughs> Peter no. about to be on our ass. So, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. like no, every episode, like yo, there's there's levels, right? So we can consume more than an animal because just our body mass. Yeah. So they can't consume as much as we do. Mm-hmm. They shouldn't consume it at all, to be honest. But that's why they should like catnip. Which so what, is yeah, not, what's the point of catnip? Then? Catnip is not marijuana. There's no THC oh, in it. With yeah. a, it's, w- what it's is a, it? It's that its d- own different plant. Oh. It's called catnip. And, and there's no like human catnip. <laughs> we <Weed>. marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> cannabis. <laughs> cannabis is the human catnip. <laughs> why we gotta smoke it though? You don't. You can. You, you can eat, eat it. it. <laughs> you can eat it. You can vape it. it. You can like. <laughs> he regretted that. You can rub it and get high. You can put it. You can, there's eye drops. There's there's Eye drops, CBD yes. oil. Like, they do eye yeah, drops. This, this, this t- there's 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 THC eye drops. I've had yeah, THC yeah. eye drops. Yeah. But, but it's CBD oil, a lot of like I, I mentioned before, the there's, massage. Like there's you, you literally get the oil rubbed on you as. Cal- but that uh, gets you high though. It's yeah, a calming. Your skin, your skin, yeah. your skin absorbs that. Because I bought that. You can shit. get you can get one that looks like an asthma pump. You take it like an asthma pump. That's gonna get you high. Fine. Like oh, shit. there's several ways that you can consume cannabis into your system. It's versatile as fuck. Put that shit up your butt. Nah, <laughs> you can definitely dead ass. Yeah, dead ass. Yes. Dead ass. A <laughs> cannabis condom and shit. <laughs> That'd be fucking wild. Wow. There are a lot of cannabis infused sex. In- really? There's a whole cannabis. Yeah. Yeah. cannabis sex in- down. Yes. yes. Why am I the only one who just learned this shit? Like, you don't smoke, so shit. you don't give two I mean, shits. That's shit crazy though. <laughs> I, I respect it. They, they go on yeah. Amazon and start looking. <laughs> I'm a look just to see. Like, oh, this, these niggas is not lying. This shit is actually. I fuck with it. Use code yeah. Neapolitan. Twenty percent discount on all your. That's THC creative. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty creative to see that there's so many versatile ways. That's, that's what I was saying it, earlier. There's, there's so many extra ways that yeah. you don't even have to even touch the plant once and still be in the cannabis industry. All right. This is a question for. I, I mean. If y'all had your own strain, what would y'all call it? Uh, that nigga Rudo. Fire. <laughs> that would sell. That, that would. hidden leaf. Yeah. Fire. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Hidden Shit. leaf would also sell. Yeah. Yeah. Hit us up. How is there no hidden leaf yet? It probably is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, I gotta <laughs> hey, bleep that out. Bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> this question is gonna lose a lot of potential marketing opportunities. Yeah, right. <laughs> We're gonna come up with free ideas. Get that Matter of fact, we're scrapping that because we're gonna start selling weed. Uh, we gotta get the trademark up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be quick. Fun. That hidden leaf? That yeah, Neapolitan yeah. OG. <laughs> it's just, 
You know that could easily be. <laughs> That's gonna be fire when we sell. Is that there a Neapolitan ice cream string? Leaf probably. <laughs> Is there like a list, this, like a legitimate? Yeah, I mean, the, like the shit oh, he was leaf? saying. It's like Le- uh, Leafly is one place that you can go to to get that that list of stuff. Um, damn, there's another one. There's a, there's a few places that you can go to research wow. your strain information. See, I just be on beer menus. Like, oh, they got my shit yeah. here. <laughs> but they, it's the same shit for weed. Yeah, I'm, exactly I'm assuming. Right. Yeah, I'm like, all right. Yeah, I'm just on a whole nother. No, there's an ice there's cream cans. cake and an ice cream. Yeah. There's definitely ice cream. Oh, yeah, cake. I, yeah I, I've had ice cream. Alright, we got we got we got to do the Neapolitan. But if you, hey, if you go ahead and you take ice cream cake and then blue you and cream? you clone it with biscotti or you clone it with some other strain and this mm-hmm. you're the first person to do that clone and you want to call it Neapolitan ice cream, you are more than right to do so. Shit. You take it to a legal market that's gonna test this THC level and they're gonna ask you what. Can they this? change the color on weed? Like. If the Neapolitan ice cream string was brown, white, and pink, nice. That's Smoking sus. That shit. <laughs> He's wild and tell him. So <laughs> I can't tell you that I've seen a natural pink bud, but there's definitely there's definitely uh-huh. natural uh, purple. There's natural greens, natural oranges, natural reds. Not like deep red, but red. I'm gonna show you. You can keep. I'm just gonna show you a picture and after you, ask you. Yo, I smoked some wild shit, shit last week. <laughs> I mean, the motherfucker like Bruno Mars, so like take it for what it is. But oh yeah, <laughs> that's that another man? thing I wanted to talk about. Like the how people... would you describe that bullshit? He gonna say he gonna say bullshit. <laughs> I mean, it looks coated. What does that mean? Like like it was another like, button. And they put something else on yeah. there. Mm. I was gonna talk about how we like the what the people we uh, are buying weed from like are gonna look like, cause like the 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 drug dealer, quote unquote, is gonna look a lot different in the next couple years. Mm-hmm. Like like he said, he, he's he dude he bought from looked like Bruno Mars. Exactly, I can. I sure was crazy. Yeah, he dude slicked his hair back and said, "Mr. <laughs> <"Z-> <laughs> <laughs> And his homie did the dance with him. It's the song. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna have a butt tender. A butt tender. But that's what they butt call tender. butt butt tenders. Oh shit! Oh. Why I feel like I learned more than I ever have on this episode. And on this what ninety something? <laughs> Are you saying the podcast is a whole shit? I'm a, we actually that was, on that was kind of my purpose to spread you know spread the spread knowledge. the knowledge. Yeah, spread we, the knowledge against Much appreciated. We appreciate that shit because we don't know shit about nothing. Like I learned a lot last week. I watched Judas and the Black Supremes. I haven't watched that yet. Yeah. I gotta be in the I gotta be in the right headspace for black drama movies. Yeah, don't be high. You gotta be you gotta be no, I do everything high. You can't watch a movie here. I do everything high. You can watch the movie then. Everything. Where where did the, the weed makes you lazy uh like stigma, stigma come, come from? from? That commercial when that chick was melted on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> That was just one of those extra things that the war on shits. drugs. It's like, mm-hmm. don't do this because you. Get, I mean, there are moments when you're extra high and you're stuck. Yeah, yeah. I can do. but that's where the indica versus sativa comes from. Like mm-hmm. indica, they like the way they tell you how to remember what effects you're gonna be is like uh, indica mm-hmm. in the couch, mm-hmm. sativa stay up. Gotcha. That at least one of my questions. Like, I read somewhere that you can't technically be addicted to weed. Is that a thing? I mean, you you, you can could be. you can because I read that you can't. You can be addicted the, to anything. That's the thing. Mentally, you can be addicted to anything. Addicted there to like aren't any addictive shit. properties in the plant. <laughs> Wait, I, I, they, I heard what you said. What the fuck did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Pepper, Pepper. probably smoked that shit. <laughs> smoked the Doctor Pep. Doctor Pep is Dr. supposed Pep. to be medicine. You're not supposed to drink that. That shit is gross. <laughs> they used to use Listerine to clean floors. A different many formulas ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hope <laughs> that'd be wild. Yeah, it would be. What the fuck I said? Something about um. <laughs> Damn, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you ask. You ask if uh, you can be addicted to. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's what I. So yeah. there, there aren't any addictive properties in the plant, but mentally you can be addicted to anything. Like Dr. Pepper. 
but it's not it's not like the same type of addicted where like you smoke some crack or something and there's something (laughs) (laughs) well yeah no but exactly it's like you smoke crack and then they they come down it's like fuck i yeah i need it yeah it's over over. i can't survive unless i take another fucking shoot like yeah yeah. since you said you do everything high do you think you can survive like a day without i have yeah all right that's what's there's definitely i think he's about to say can you survive crack i'm like (laughs) where are we going (laughs) whoa (laughs) <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> that's, that's not that, you that try crack. Crack. <laughs> crack is wild. We seen what it did to Pookie on the fucking. <laughs> that's, what, um... that's what you go. <laughs> <laughs> that shit got him. Got him. Like, Why oh every crackhead in every TV show got one name? Like it's a one. It's never. They never have last names. Pookie Bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. It's. I started watching. What's the name of Love? <laughs> Yeah, he's hot. Yeah, he's <laughs> smack. He's out of here. <laughs> he's out of here. Nah, I, I thought the one that posted this. Then why are you there? <laughs> <laughs> like a, hey, what were you saying? I don't know. Oh, I, it, I started watching The Wire over again. You can tell it was over for Bubbles from season one. Yeah. When he was making photocopies of the $10 bill or whatever. Yeah, they, they got him. Like, it's over. It's a whole different addiction. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but... The, but so, you, you can be addicted to cannabis and... Not want to rob somebody to t- take your next blunt. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. you're most likely going to grow it in your fucking backyard. And then you'll have your nice supply of however much you need. This might be a dumb question, but you can't overdose from cannabis you either. You cannot overdose on cannabis. Like, See, that's, that, that ties in, yeah. Yeah. Because, like, if you take a bunch Let of pills. Correct that. You can overdose on cannabis. However, you would need to smoke about 600 pounds oh. straight. In order to overdose. Before you even can do it's that, a, you, you're going to do something that's called green out, which means you're going to you're gonna throw up. Fall asleep. And then fall asleep. Yeah. That's not like you take a bunch of pills, you just die. Yeah. Yeah, no. You, yeah. You're going you're gonna to smoke too much, you're going to throw up, and then you're going to fall asleep. If that's the worst that could happen to you, like, fuck. That was Denver. Yeah. That was, <laughs> we had a bad experience with uh, edibles in Denver. I, I've had bad experiences. Like, when I was- yeah. <laughs> When I'm I was like, no. in Cali, when it was first time in Cali, so I was like, bet. So my boy, and this was before it was recreationally legal out there. This is when I was working at Apple. <clears throat> but I told my boy, I was like, yo, go to the dispensary. Give me whatever the strongest shit they have. Because I'm that nigga. I'm like, <laughs> Tell them that. I'm that nigga. For <laughs> Every New Yorker feel like that. Every time we see the city, like, yeah, we got to nut them know. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I give me the none strong, of this give me the strong, y'all whatever the strongest shit edible they sell in there, give me that. It was a five hundred? No, it was a eight hundred milligram brownie. Oof. So I was like, right, I'm not gonna OD. I'm gonna eat a good like chunk of it though. Eat of it, eat it, and then we decided we was gonna go to this place called Half Moon Bay, which is like at the time that was a uh, our passwords at the computers. We knew it was a place in Cali. It was like yo. It's related. It's out here. Let's fucking go in the middle of the night. Come to find out, this shit is, we have driving through a mountain. Now, I took my chunk of edible. I'm in the passenger seat and this shit is hitting. So I'm like melting in the seat. And I'm like, yo, bro, we're, dri- we're driving through a cloud. Yeah. <laughs> Long get there. Shit was dark as fuck. Shit was scary. You can hear the ocean whooshing. Like, whooshing. Like, <laughs> you, like you hear the ocean whooshing. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it as a high person. <laughs> All my fires know what that means. <laughs> the ocean ocean. But you can't see it. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's, that's a problem. Crazy. <laughs> so I was yeah. like, let's it's time to get back out of here. So we drive back through a fucking cloud and mountain. And then we get back to the spot. I'm literally melt I'm every five minutes I'm like low <laughs> lower and lower into my couch. And I, I literally <laughs> melted into my fucking couch. And I was just like you turn to the girl on the commercial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, Ugh. <laughs> this is area. I, I looked at my boys. Smoke. I was like, yo, I, I'm, I'm going back to my room. I go back to the room, threw up in the bathroom, mm-hmm. went the fuck to sleep. See, that's better than us. We had thrown up just right in the hotel. Watching Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yo, we, either that, you're crying watching Ellen or you're throwing up. Yo, that episode of Ellen must have lasted like five hours. I'm telling you, bro. She had like 75 guests. <laughs> Meanwhile, it was only Priyanka Chopra. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah they were in bad. Denver. That's yeah. 
Yeah, I think that was like right, like right after they had legalized recreational out there. It was, it's like, crazy because Denver just like decriminalized. Yeah. Oh, they, they drove all Oregon? of them. Oh yeah, uh, uh, the, Oregon, the, Oregon the Oregon was there. Yeah, yeah. the Oregon. I was, oh, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I don't recall. They called it that. No, we talked about it on the episode. Bro. <laughs> no, they don't call it that. I call it that. <laughs> You're making fun of me. That's not fair. <laughs> You're making fun of me. I got them too high. My bad. <laughs> That's fine. It's just me. I'm, I'm, I'm really <laughs> fucking up. <laughs> but yeah, the Oregon Trail, um, Denver, and, and like Oregon. I think it was one other state where they decriminalized all of this shit. That's why that's, we were making jokes on the podcast saying, "Oh, they're yeah. gonna be doing that hard shit." Because like uh, Alvin hit, on his stories, he'd be showing him like, "Yo, niggas in uh, Oregon, they be high. Like they be falling asleep with their car door open, just leaning on the shit. Like, yo, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, though. that's they 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 they, they go hard out there. Yeah, so." <laughs> <laughs> but you want to take some mushrooms? You want to take some acid at home? Or you go into the mountains and do that? You got it. Yeah. Just don't, I'm, I'm, don't operate any heavy machinery. Yeah. 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 That's facts. Like <laughs> you said, they call it that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all think is the next uh, drug to get legalized there? Like normalized, mushrooms. if any. Mushrooms? Yeah, probably. Mushrooms. Because mm. it's like natural, I guess, right? Yep. And it's great for mental disabilities. I had a question. What is K2? K2 fake is weed. fake weed. Yeah. Uh, Don't ever smoke K2. Oh, no, 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 no. It, it's synthetic weed. Yeah. How would okay. you know if it's K2? Like, who would just say K2? They can sell I think it, it comes yeah. with a logo. It's legal because it's yeah. synthetic. Yeah. Uh, it's made it in a lab. Like but, but a person would actually call it that? It's called K- that. Yeah, it's no, but they would advertise it as that? Yeah. They sell it in bodegas and stuff. They'll have a nice So there's a market for people who actually just want it. Yeah. The crackheads uh, on the train. Yeah, because it. You because remember they when... can't legally go by bud. Yeah. There's, there's places where like yo if if you not if you not around from here and you don't know nobody so you're well, not you're gonna, gonna know the black market dealers. All I know is I can go to this deli right here and buy some K two. Do you remember back a couple years ago there was mad people in like Brooklyn that were passing out or like just they found I them. remember that that was from K two. But stuff like this wouldn't happen if exactly. cannabis was legal. Because mm-hmm. legalized I, cannabis, Cuomo, motherfucker, you heard him. Heard him. Motherfucker. They're trying to get him out of here. They're yeah, really trying to get him out of here. Yeah, but. It might be yeah, slow. Yeah, legalize that shit. Y'all want to yeah, shift let's, gears? Let's shift gears. All right, so one of the big things that's been going on right now. You even shared this post. How? Yeah. Attack on Titan is the second most popular show most right popular. now? Most popular. Most popular. It's the number one most number popular one. show right now. Most watched. On as far as any shows or just yeah, yeah it was the yeah. office nigga like it was there it was number one I'm like what next to the office yeah above wow, the office wow. <laughs> <laughs> where'd you get these statistics from I don't know probably like IGN it. probably Wikipedia <laughs> that's some bullshit yeah. I don't know. Some <laughs> facts. which is wild because like I didn't think I'd see the day where anime would be as popular as it is now do you think this uh, new Naruto live action is gonna bring more fans to the end. Is a Naruto live action? No, because all the live actions suck. Well, but, not what well, some. You know that Netflix is working on a Naruto. I mean, I excuse didn't... me, not Naruto. Uh, Avatar. That Avatar last been a. Yeah, I apologize, yeah. fans. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, the last Airbender. Yeah, I thought the other show with the blue motherfucker. No, they're coming no, no, out no, no, too. No, no, no. Yeah. I mean, Avatar there's gonna be an Avatar two coming out, but that's yeah, James Cameron. Get that shit out of here. We are talking about the last Airbender. Yeah, get with it, nigga. Do you watch anime? He ain't cool. I mean, I'm not gonna say I, I watch all anime, but there's definitely you watch I watch before. anime. He ain't watch none. I still watch this there. No. I, I just recently. I'm watched, not currently watching any. I recently watched uh, on Netflix Blood of Zeus. I don't know that one. Yo, that was you watch it? Fire! Really? It's I'm I'm super into Greek mythology. Like that's I that's my it. thing. So it was like it's a Greek mythology anime and some ex- bits of real story and some extra anime spice to it. Re- repeat the name. It's, Blood, Blood of Zeus. Zeus. Oh. All right, I seen it's the on Netflix. Netflix. Netflix said come into Netflix this month. It was on one of those uh, trailers that they put on YouTube every month. They put a trailer. I, highly, I, I seen it. It was one of the it. things that they highlighted. It like I would check. That it out. like follows one of Zeus's bastard sons. You know, mm-hmm. Zeus, is, all Zeus is out here just yeah, popping babies. Everybody. Zeus yeah. was a Dominican. He was just yeah. out here. <laughs> he just Yo, went. Shout, 
<laughs> he just went out here and was just popping babies. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Right. Happy Dominican Independence Day. Yes, sir. Ya tu sabe. Ya tu sabe. Right, you right, you right. But all like. Yeah, that's a new one. <laughs> but. Yeah, he was he ah, was definitely demanding. Chill. But he was following one of, one of Zeus's sons and like that whole storyline with him and some extra demon and like it was it was. If How you many episodes? To, uh, 10, like thirteen. Yeah. Like one, one I'm of gonna the, check standard that. episode situation, but yeah. like definitely an anime to watch without a doubt. I I approve. Right. But my question: Do you think that this Avatar: Last Airbender live action is gonna bring more fans into the anime series? Uh... I think it can because of what Netflix is, but if I'm gonna be honest, I never really watched the whole entire Avatar. What? By by choice? Cause why? I don't know. I think as as a kid growing up, this is me being like an idiot. But I was kind of hating on Nickelodeon. <laughs> That's because I was Team Cartoon Network. That's you know fair. what I mean. Like, I can, I can that. Nigga, you can, y'all can have the Avatar. I'm I feel like Last Airbender nigga. was probably their best show during that time. It, it was definitely their best show, and I know what it is. Especially like with all the hype when it came back to Netflix, mm-hmm. the the cartoon yeah. show. So I'm like, all right, I dig it. I'm I'm very happy and to I, see I fuck like with the characters. The season, the yeah. the series finale. I remember me and Damo like we got yeah. the living room. Like it was a whole family event to watch yeah. that series finale. Like the, yeah. that whole fight series at the very end of the. I'm dying to see that live action. If in knowing that the creators of the the anime that was is the people that's that's they're involved. I'm not gonna say they're yeah. the one, but they're heavily involved in this Netflix one. They have to be if it's gonna so. Be like good. I feel yeah. like they, I feel like this is gonna get done right. I, I'm scared though because I see I, I see anime like uh one Death popular Note? Death Note. Oh my oh, god, that a, movie. That Why was awful. Lakeith Stanfield in that movie? Like <laughs> I fuck with Lakeith Stanfield. Oh, I fuck with him heavy, but he was, he did not belong in that. But he's in that movie because he fucks though. he huh? fucks with anime and he wanted he wanted to bring yeah, life to a character that he could. Yeah. But that's yeah. one of those things that Hollywood took over and was just Yeah. See, like they, they, there are too many anime movies that 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 are not only brought to live action but also westernized. Where it's like, all right, now you're wasting time and money. What the fuck was Jav- Dragon Ball? Yeah, I was just about to say, that Dragon Ball Z movie was like... I wanted to smack the shit out of these things. Like, did y'all watch the shit? Why is Goku in high school? <laughs> <laughs> Please explain to me why Goku... Yeah. It's- one of the last Saiyans <laughs> alive is in high school. They were in high school bullshit. Yeah, I'm, nah, my nigga he's about to save the world. He's about to save the world, bro. I don't think this nigga ever went. People look up. Oh, yeah. Yo, his like, voice no. is changing. <laughs> no, you dead ass though. Like, like, like Goku, he's like, like, wild. Uh, like, yeah, he never went to school. Come though. on, ever and ever, even in Dragon. That's why he's ball. dumb in yeah, the fucking exactly. anime. Like, really why he's dumb? <laughs> no, he's dead ass dumb. Like Saiyans are Some, known to be there's dumb. There's a theory they, out there that they say they made that like Asian people. Not this. Right, this okay, is just a theory. I'm not saying that, saying that this no, no, is no. facts. Yeah. I've seen it. But the theory is that Saiyans are black people, and they made them dumb because they they mm. look at black people as dumb, and that's why they turn into gorillas Monkeys. before they find a form. I've seen that. I didn't see that. I seen like it's it's fucked just, up. It's just one of those conspiracy theories. I thought Piccolo was black. <laughs> Yeah. I, I, he's a nigga. He's a nigga. <laughs> I thought, you know what's great? Nigga. I thought they made the 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 Namekians, the black guys, and and, and Namek is Africa. But then you realize, hold up, there ain't no females yeah. in this whole country. That's what I was gonna say. This nigga Piccolo ain't got a dick. <laughs> you could extend his arm though. He could. Nah. <laughs> I'm like, damn. That's what they did to the nigga characters. If he's like that, though. They don't get no bitches. <laughs> Trying to grow a third leg? Huh? <laughs> I, maybe. I don't know. But who are you going to fuck? Ain't, ain't no Namekians on this country or planet. No women's. Yeah, it ain't shit there. But, like, they they, they, they give birth by spitting the shit yeah, out. Yeah, it's just nasty. I don't know why. <laughs> How y'all yeah. feel about One Piece? One Piece is probably he's a my, One Piece, man, but... my favorite anime, but that shit is way too long. Bro, bro. you got to commit to that shit. Yeah, I'm committed to now One at Piece? this point. It's only Nigga. two seasons. No. no, One Piece. Oh, you mean thousand. like the whole? It's a million episodes. The, the manga. And, and... No, nah, no, 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 no. There's like... a million and uh, there's a thousand episodes. Yeah, it's on episode a thousand. That shit was oh, out... One Piece for yeah. the anime. Yeah, that shit. Oh no, out... I'm, no, excuse me, not One Piece. I'm thinking uh, One Punch Man. Oh, oh One Punch. It's only two. Yeah, I'm like, I haven't what? watched I'm one. Like, it's only two fucking seasons. <laughs> nah. What the fuck y'all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> one Punch Man is on my uh, Look, my it, list. Listen, I haven't watched it. Yet. The thing, it's, it's the thing about One Piece, like. I fucks with anime. I'm not something like I'm not gonna watch every single one. But yeah. once I saw One Piece, it was just like, so this is Pirates of the Caribbean anime copy. I'm not watching this shit, bro. Here's the thing: it's a good show. Cause I'm not saying I'm not. Yeah, I'm I'll not saying you, that that's what it is. I'm just saying that once I saw once I saw two trailers, 
Stop fucking biting me. <laughs> <laughs> Once I saw those two channels, I was like, this is Pirates of the Caribbean. Just because that's what the next popular boat situation like this, yeah. I immediately made that connection. Yeah. And I can only imagine a bunch of other people immediately made that connection as well. Here's the thing. You, if, you're like, gonna, if you're going to watch that, you just got to commit to it. Because that shit's a and thousand And then episodes. after that, I saw my nigga turn into Dawson with the long punch. And I was like, nah, oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm good, Chad. Luffy. <laughs> <laughs> this shit has been out since the 90s. Yeah. Literally. I'm crazy. Why are you still going? Relax. <laughs> yeah, that shit you got to cut it out. You got to wrap that These shit up, These niggas saved the world how many times? How many other worlds <laughs> do you got to save? Like, just stop. And he don't grow his team no more. I, 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 I'd rather Digimon come back. Digimon. It, Digimon. it came back a couple times, but Digimon is They revamped Digimon, like... Like a good three, four times, because there was a point I remember I put on Digimon. I didn't even they didn't have the original cast no more. It wasn't yeah. like so. I got a, I got a I got a real question for y'all. Go. Would y'all consider Beast Wars? Y'all remember Beast Wars? Yeah, hell yeah. Would y'all consider that an anime? Not an, an anime, cause only because it was too like it was too American. I give you that. It was too American. You you watch Beast Wars? I try. That sounds familiar. It was like the Transformers, they but they Transform were all animals. Yeah. animals. That's what. Rat Trap, Cheetor. Yeah. Megatron. It was legit. Course. Megatron was always gonna be Megatron. Rhinox. No, what was it? <laughs> Rhinox. Yeah, it was Rhinox. Yeah, Rhinox. No, Rhinox. Is oh, Rhinox. I had a toy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this nigga this. high. high. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> All does right. an, does anime have does like does it have to be an- Japanese? Japanese? I was gonna yeah. that was my question. Not it, necessarily. Like for example, I think there's um, like uh, the Netflix like, Bloody Zeus. I I don't think I was. Oh, no, it's not Japanese. I mean, they were all speaking English. I didn't. I didn't have to read subtitles. But you can. Uh, it wasn't. Vo- it wasn't voiceover. You yeah. can tell a voiceover anime versus like this is Duh. where it came I from. A few like, of these joints. Yeah. They might have been a McDonald's thing at one point. They were. So it definitely yeah. was. McDonald's. That's what. I, yeah, yeah bro. If you ever went to Toys R Us, they'll have a whole section yeah. of all them shit. Like, Mom, I want that one, that one. Give me oh. the Rat Trap with the wheels. Yeah, yeah, Rat Trap had the wheels in one season. But yeah, um, I, 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 I don't think it's an anime, but it's a, it's a good ass show though. Is this what like Bionicle? Bionicle and... and... Huh? No, you said Bionicle, Bionicle was different. That was, yeah. Bionicle was Bionicle years was and years and after. years after. All right, Bionicle was like when we were in like middle school, I think. Yeah. You ever see the different levels of fandom when it comes to like anime? Yo, I, I learned anime. anime taught me how horny like Japanese people are. Yeah, they're, they're some of the wack, wackiest like, minds. It's in ridiculous. The world. Like, like every character in One Piece got like woman character has big ass titties, like yeah. unproportionately so, big titties, I, uh, especially in One Piece. Uh, they yeah. shit like bottles. And, uh, like, yeah, <laughs> then their tits I found are, out like, that like, not necessarily with anime, but like, in video games, mm-hmm. a lot of the video game designers that create the female ones mm-hmm. are females. Mm. Mm. Like the lead designer for Soul Calibur, lead designer for Mortal Kombat, they're they're both females. And, see that and for, Street Fighter as well. Yeah. They're all, yeah, they're I was all say, who made Chun Li? Those legs. A female. Yeah. Speaking of it, did y'all see like the the viral thing going on with uh the, the new Mortal Kombat trailer? What What's the beef with it? So the, the, movie? Some, the movie, the movie, yeah. the movie, yes. the, the movie, the the, the Mortal Kombat movie, movie trailer came out last week. You said what? I'm excited for that. Oh yeah, I'm looking for that. I'm looking forward to that. But there was an article written. By this website called Jezebel. I know Jezebel. <laughs> yeah, and in and, and the article, the it website, said, great trailer. Yeah, I was like, I know that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> great trailer, but where's Chun Li? Internet had a field day with her because nah. Chun Li is not well, in Mortal I know, Kombat. I know why she did it, though, because she's in the new game. Who? Chun Li? She's in Fortnite. In the new Mortal Kombat game? Yeah, I think she. they just announced Not in Mortal Kombat. She ain't in Mortal Kombat. Nah, she's in I Fortnite. Think, I think so. No, nigga, trust me. If Nobody. anybody knows me, nigga, she ain't in Mortal Kombat. She's not allowed to Listen, be there. Listen, when I tell you this, if there was to ever be a Mortal Kombat X Street Fighter crossover, <laughs> they're not going to start with Chun Li. They're starting with Ryu. Yeah. Hands down. If I'm being honest, though, but Chun Li is the second most popular character. And this is true, but Street they wouldn't Fighter. start with yeah. her as, yeah. as the crossover between yeah. the video games. No, she's, that's not happening. Look, Capcom will never collaborate with Nether Realms because they're just too different. Mortal Kombat is way too violent. Ryu also, and Street that Fighter part, they, just got oh, confirmed for well, Fortnite. They, there was okay. DC versus, versus Mortal, Mortal Kombat, Kombat. So they yeah. technically. But that's the thing. But I the, feel like the only reason why that happened, there was no blood in that game. Wonder Brothers was like. There was no blood in DC Mortal Kombat? No, nah. that was one of the. You can do fatality. Oh. The most violent yeah, fatality, fatality in that game was Joker, it was but it would go. That you wouldn't see. Like he'll pull out a gun and shoot you, but it would pants at him, so you won't see what happened. 
And but the I, only reason why was, the only reason Warner why Brothers was like, nah, you're not put, yeah, not putting all this extra violent. Like, yeah, you can have these properties. You can do what you want with these characters. Would do whatever. X, Y, and Z is not happening. The only reason why uh, that game was able to happen was because Netherrealm, who makes Mortal Kombat games, is signed under Warner Brothers. Gotcha. Which is why they make the Injustice games. They make the the yeah ah that makes sense and that's why Injustice the feels like game. Mortal Kombat yeah it yeah, plays yeah. like it exactly it plays like they it. make those games so ah, you'll see sense. the crossovers but okay. you won't see Street Fighter ever okay you ever, know what I ever. you know what I realized I Street looked Fighter's it up. With, with Capcom right yeah yeah Capcom yeah. and other ones they don't that's nah they fuck with each other but they can't they can't bring those characters to yeah. cross worlds like that the, pick, the thing I saw was someone created a Mortal Kombat announcement for Chun Li after the, oh uh, yeah the it was a joke they, they yeah. went I'm saying the internet had a feel oh this bitch don't know that's the thing people are getting paid to make these reports and write these blogs it's and news clickbait. no she didn't know what the fuck she was talking about she made a mistake because they said edit oh I'm sorry I mixed I mixed this up she didn't know what the fuck she was talking about. Which leads to the level of fandom because you think that she says, "Oh, I grew up in the article." She's like, "I grew up playing this game." And and I love it. Like she grew up playing Mortal Kombat yeah. and Street Fighter. Yeah, and so it's just like but she, still, up. she don't play video games now. Anyone yeah. playing video games now knows would never confuse. But like, that. yeah, us in thirty years, yeah. mm, we'll see. 30, 30, 40 years. It might, yeah, I re- I remember uh, Goro fighting Ken. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Goro fighting Ken is wild. <laughs> But nah, I made Johnny Cage. Like, you know, it's yeah. one of those things. Like, yeah. once you get to that age, it's, it's going to happen. But she, she should have though. been the yeah, person in charge up. of writing the article. Right. Yeah. They should have known better. Proofread. Nobody proofread that On top part. of that, like, y'all ain't got nobody in, in the pop culture. Like, I know what the fuck pop is that? culture. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm. yeah. But that's just how companies do, though. I do want to see the Mortal Kombat movie. That, yeah. That Mortal Kombat movie is the. I, Amazing. I thought the trailer was promising. Cause, I just uh, have PTSD. I said it in the group chat. Like, yeah, I think I felt like y'all yeah, both downplayed it a little. I bit. said I'm, I'm. You're afraid it's gonna be corny. I, that's what why I said. Why did I say? I, it was, why am I afraid it's gonna be? No, corny? I said that. No, I said it too. My my only my reason thing, for saying that was but, because they made up a bullshit ass character. I, I hope it's a good bullshit. Who's the bullshit, was, bullshit character? Uh, the the main character. Yeah. His name is Cole. Yeah, like, the most generic name of all time. Like, who the fuck is this nigga? Yeah, my my <laughs> exactly. only problem. I feel like that they're introducing too many character, too many Mortal Kombat characters in this first movie. Yeah, like in the trailer, just in the trailer, a lot who, of niggas. Who knows who is who's actually in the movie? But in the trailer, we have our, our main was Jack, Sonya Blade, Johnny Cage, uh, Sub Zero, Sub Zero, Scorpion, Kung Lao, Lao Lucane, yeah. Sindel. No, I don't. Uh, Goro. Sindel in there. Sindel's there. She is. Uh, she's in the trailer. Yeah, Goro is on there. the trailer. I seen Goro. Uh, um, Cyborg is in the trailer. I didn't see the side. Smoke is in Cyrus. the trailer. No, not Smoke. New Saber is in the trailer. Yeah, like this is a whole. Horror... New Saber doesn't need to be in this in this movie. That's that's a hardcore Mortal Kombat fan character. Yeah, like I feel like they just dumping like I'm gonna satisfy all the Mortal Kombat fans in this first movie because I don't. And Kano. Yeah. Kano's there. But if you have Sony Blade, you have to have Kano. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. Yeah. If you have Johnny Cage, you have to have that means, Goro. But, that means but that, Johnny Cage ain't in there. That means they're going to have Shang Tsung. Uh, Shang Tsung's Shang there. there. I'm pretty He's sure Quan Chi is going to be exactly. there. Like, Cause Quan Chi is the one who turns... Yeah, like, you, you can't have Scorpio, Scorpio and yeah. Sub-Zero without Quan... Like, there's already too many characters. Yeah, just because so, based off what you know is going to happen, too. And that's just that's just hardcore fans knowing this is happening. We don't know how long the movie is, either. If it's three hours, you might be able to, like, all right, nigga. They... It, you think they they not Marvel though, bro. They're not nah. Marvel. They, they, they can't don't come out with a three-hour Mar- movie like that. Mar- 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 Marvel is the only one that can be like, I can do this. Fuck out of here. You gonna watch this shit? Fuck you. <laughs> but, but that's why I have PTSD. Sit your ass down, nigga. <laughs> that, that's Enjoy. why I, I have PTSD from the Mortal Kombat movies because uh, it's a, it's. I feel you with whole new director, whole yeah, new style, which is fair. Like you know, and plus Netherrealm is in on this shit. Okay. Is, and, is, if you Ed, play the game, is Ed Boon involved? I didn't think so. I think I think Netherrealm's involved with this. I don't think they'll just like here do whatever you want because we seem to have this Mortal Kombat up to them. Though. Mortal Kombat Annihilation, though, that shit was terrible. But it's not up to if them. If Nether Realms is under Warner Brothers, it's not up to them. If Warner Brothers comes out and says, "I want to make a Mortal Kombat movie," Nether Realms, this is what we're doing. I I think I think they Nether... don't even have to give them a heads up. I think they're involved. I think I'm pretty involved. sure they are. Yeah, it looks like they are. Yeah, because like, if you play the game, the stories are fire. They're, they're pretty good. And like if right now Disney wants to make a a, a Marvel movie and not in view, involve the Russo brothers, they don't fucking have to. 
They don't have mm. to call them. They 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 know. They know they better. They know not to do that. Yeah. They know better. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, one they know, is they slapping know. right now. Nigga, one division is my shit yeah. right oh now. My God, nigga. But let's not talk about it because yeah. wife is gonna get mad if we even even start. <laughs> we even start oh, into like no, she watches it, but uh, like like we we're into comics and shit like that. Yeah. So it's a different world. So there's a lot of shit that we know that just hasn't appeared on screen. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just like. I'm not trying to get cursed that, that, out because that, we, we... That's like a thing that's shit. like into fandom when it comes to like animes and comics and shit like that. Because some people like nitpick at the super like but detail. I, well, I do think that's why Marvel like, has, has been so success, successful, successful because they play to that fandom. They yeah. know the fandom is going to want what's closest to the source material. Yeah. Even mm-hmm. though this is just source material. I can This is a reference. I can do whatever the fuck I want from this reference. Mm-hmm. But I feel like they know like the fans is gonna want the closest to what it's on paper. They want to see on paper or on screen, and I think that's why Marvel has been so fucking successful as far as what they do. Yeah, I was like that at one point till I realized. Cause like for example, when when you see like a movie you wanna of act, you want to have an intermission? No, he'll be you. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope uh, it's a good one. I need time. <laughs> I, I got gotcha. you. Uh, so uh, this week I watched that movie on Netflix, uh, Malcolm and Marie. You're wilding. <laughs> Have nah, y'all watched that? I'm not I watching that in Black movie. History Month. That was a cin- this was be an all black. That movie. was a cinematic black and white. masterpiece. Really? If you love anything about movie, like if you a movie buff, he has a different opinion. I can tell. If you a movie buff, watch that fucking movie. No, so I, I saw the movie, and I guess this now. All right, this could turn into a question for you. Let's do it. Cause, <laughs> cause, um, my my, I'm not necessarily like a film buff or somebody like that. I like the for, to, for on the record. I like the movie a lot more than I thought I would have my before check. I went in there. I think I should watch it. I think we can have a lot of funny discussions on it. But mine has to do with like the the cinematic aspect of it. It was shot in black and white. Maybe I'm just not hip to like all the the different like camera angles that were used, like the focus that was used in certain parts of the arguments and shit like that. Mm-hmm. But I didn't. I didn't feel and. I didn't feel like it was like a cinematic masterpiece because that's one that's one thing I saw like oh it was shot in black and white. Uh, I saw a couple comparisons that were used to other movies that it kind of either references or pays homage to. Again, I'm not the biggest <laughs> film buff, but I didn't see the hype where I was like, damn, this is like a visual masterpiece of a film that I I felt like I was wild walking away from. So what did you I feel? feel? I felt that it was an entertaining movie that touched on a lot of interesting things. I definitely do. I like the aspect of it being black and white, especially when you watch the movie and you understand kind of what it is. I get it. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't wow. Like, I wasn't taken to that next level where I'm just like, damn, I'm watching something significant. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a like need some, to watch kind of thing. Like a need to watch, like some shit that's going to be like a cult classic. I didn't feel that way when watching it. I but definitely. You should have watched I Love Lucy. It's a better black and white. <laughs> Wanda, WandaVision bodied that though WandaVision yeah, bodied the black and white yeah. WandaVision is bodied every uh, episode nigga yeah, every, uh, on that front like what but they've like, been referencing on point like I said yeah. earlier let's not talk about it yeah, yeah. yeah. sorry but sorry 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 you're not gonna get me in trouble for <laughs> one of my other friends already got me in trouble from the last episode oh, cause shit. we talked about it we all went to dinner and we like she was so hyped. We, we, I was so hyped, and we ended up talking about it. And then shit happened in the very next episode, and she, she immediately got my girl got immediately got. Uh, you talking about still? You she wilding? Was, <laughs> but we already saw the episode pass. So, so right. this happened. We got we over it. All right, good, 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 good. <laughs> but it was like fuck. I'm, this is not happening again. But as far as Mark and Marie, if you haven't watched the movie, this is definitely spoiler. Alert. You know, skip a few minutes. But when you're watching the movie, Malcolm, he's he's yeah. he's Waiting for the review about a movie that he he directed. directed. If you really listen to what he's talking about, every time he's talking about the movie, anything descriptive wise he's talking about the movie, it's the movie we're watching. So he's describing the movie we're watching. Both of them are describing the actual movie that we're watching. When when they both had that that whole breakdown as far as him reading the review, mm-hmm. and then her also doing the, the critique re, the critique of the review, and then the scene that she was like. I want to be in this movie, and then she yeah. redoes the "quote unquote" audition scene type shit. Yeah, one, both of them need Oscars for both of that those scenes. It was fucking phenomenal. But if you really listen to what they they're both talking about, about the movie we're watching, about the movie we're watching, and two, their relationship. 
Yeah. See, I didn't catch that. I didn't there was, pick up there on was that. a lot of there was Sound a lot like of footage. It was a it was it a, is. A, a, a made, It makes like, sense. You gotta too really now that he says that. like that's a movie to not just like I'm gonna put this on the background. I'm gonna still scroll through, but like I'm gonna do some other shit. Like that's a movie to watch. You gotta just. How watch long that is shit. this movie? In like an hour forty. Wow, and and it, it, it all takes place in like one room, right? It's one, one house. One house. One yeah. house. One it's house. it's basically like a two hour argument. But they they filmed this movie in the middle of the quarantine. Yeah. Like, yeah, okay. it was John David Washington. And it, they're the and only Zendaya. two characters, too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. John David Washington like, and Zendaya, like that. that's it. That and like a box of Kraft macaroni and cheese. He bodied that mac and cheese. He did? Bro. He killed that shit. He bodied the mac and cheese and was he like, was scooping I'm that a shit. I thought you were saying the mac and cheese bodied the roll. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> nah, but, I think get an Oscar. But, but the, the mac, the mac and, I think the mac and cheese. Plays a significant role, and I want you to watch this. Is movie. that in color? Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> you just see that yellow shit. As someone Ready. who has no idea what the fuck y'all talking we about, we spoke English what? the whole time. No, bro. but like, <laughs> with the mac, I, I didn't see nothing about the mac and cheese in any trailer, and I have no. That's the first. He watched Did the you movie. Did you see the movie? No. Okay. Oh, you saw. Oh. The Is the trailer? It's definitely. He's yeah, definitely in the trailer. What mac and cheese? It, in look, the trailer. Yeah, as someone also, who may shows. not remember or has not seen the trailer. That's fair. There you go. No, you can't no. be making this argument <laughs> when you don't have any information. I'm not making an argument. Oh. What, what are you doing? <laughs> I was just saying, like, what is he doing? I'm already like interested. Y'all talking about mac and cheese hyping oh, that shit up? You are high no, as no. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you are schmidt. Yeah, that's because this is the munchies he was talking yeah, about earlier. He's like, y'all talking about mac and cheese? Now I definitely want to watch this movie. It's a box of regular ass blue box mac and cheese, <laughs> and that. But that, I think that's significant because yo, craft mac and cheese is trash. That shit is garbage. <laughs> but that's that's when the he, meal. When he bodies that. Shit, he though, kills bro. that shit. He gets seconds. Oh, he gets he seconds. Did. Oh, he killed us. He ate that. Yeah, shit. Yeah, he bodies that. Like he ate it angry. And then nah, not even like kind of on the low. It was mid argument. <laughs> oh, yo, no, it's an interesting mid, movie like, that I think you actually should so watch. I'm gonna watch it. But don't like don't watch time. it with your girl. <laughs> no, no, oh, cool. Yo, yo. Like, this is the most single podcast yo. of all time. <laughs> Not me. I, 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 yo, I, me and Shorty got at least and shit. Like, but we, oh, congrats, congrats. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. But we, we fucking we watched the movie. Noise. <laughs> it's not happening. And then shit was going down, and she was just like snapping at me. I had to pause. I was like, yo, we not beefing. <laughs> I'm not Malcolm, and you're not Marie. <laughs> I didn't make a movie and blah, blah, blah. like I didn't I didn't do what Malcolm did. I didn't, right? do, it. didn't do it. Chill, we good? We got I right, I'm gonna hit play. <laughs> so yeah, like you know what I'm saying? This you're gonna get triggered. You so, gonna you gonna uh, remember an ex and like mm. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm probably smacked right now. But like probably? definitely. The fact that yeah, what I know from about this movie is just a big argument between a couple. So oh, y'all talking about It's a big argument, bro. But to talk about then Yo, what do you do with the mac and cheese? The mac and cheese. <laughs> the mac and cheese. Watch like, don't bro. watch this around your girl. Imagine, imagine, I'm like, what the right, fuck? But, but imagine, all right, I'm going to put this into perspective for you, right? And I want I want to put the mac and cheese in focus here. Imagine the biggest night of your life, right? The Let's biggest say, night. It's the biggest night of your life. In this guy's what case, you, assumption, this, whatever you're- No, the free big, seamless. <laughs> Violent. That's lit. <laughs> Whatever you would say the biggest night of your life would be. This guy's a director. He just won an award for a movie he just directed. For the meal. Did you that- just cut my ass? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Why to- did he cut you up yeah. 13 hours later? Because <laughs> he's smacked. <laughs> but. Yeah, he did, but. <laughs> I fuck with you. you. <laughs> What the fuck did I do to you? I'm fucking with you. <laughs> what did I do to you? <laughs> Alright. For the biggest night of your life. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> he really mad he cut his ass. Alright. For the biggest night of your life, the meal that you have that night is a box of blue Kraft macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I can't even think about that right now. <laughs> yeah. No, I just can't think about like... No, I can't... like. To compare the what the expectation of your the greatest night of your life being to having a is it going to be a box of craft exactly. macaroni? Exactly. I, is that, I, I hope you eat not. Is it a box of craft macaroni? Not the most now, fire pussy. And then I just all right, all right, so like, he had the most fire pussy. He fucked up, started an argument, and she made him a box of mac and cheese on the biggest craft night, macaroni. On the biggest night, biggest night, craft, night. You had craft mac and cheese. Fire pussy's already in the crib. It's, it, this is in day we talking about. Fire pussy is already in the house. Look, 
You ain't, you ain't gotta go out and search put for this it. Into more it's perspective, there. she did it with unsalted butter. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big thing. You know what that said? I love you, but fuck you, you piece of shit. I don't shit. think he heard it. <laughs> you good? <laughs> no, fuck you, you piece of I'm shit. Just, you're just like, <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't know, like, shit. No, not <laughs> you you know, when, you, when you, you watch this. You all the context you need. When you no, watch this movie, bro, is that, it that, probably that makes scene a ton is going to hit you so hard. All of this is probably going to make a ton yeah, of sense so if I watch so the movie hard. or see the trailer. No, just or like, remember no, the trailer. Right? No, no, nigga, he just made the scenario. Imagine just, just the, the biggest night of your life, and no, your I girl it. makes you the no. work. The work. I, she just gives you bread. I know. I get it. But he. But the thing is, he bodies this shit, and you body the bread. And, so, and that's the part where it's like, why is that even like noticed? But it's symbolic. It's significant. It's symbolic. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I just have you to watch the movie. Oh, you gave me some bullshit. Know. I mean, you know what I mean. Like, I didn't even see the movie yet, but I understand what that. And means. I'm talking about he bodies it. You know when, like, when you hungry and you hear the. Fork yeah. and the spoon smacking the bowl and shit. Yeah. Spoon? Like, and you said he had seconds. <laughs> he got yeah. seconds. Yeah. And he tried to be low about He the winked seconds. and got seconds and it was like a fight. Nah, I want to go back to this so that's, that's the That's like the equivalent of a Jay Z, like, double entendre or some shit like that. Like you a could bar. fit a whole mac and cheese, craft mac and cheese box in one bowl. Can... <laughs> yes, you, Can could. you could. This bowl? <laughs> not, my standard bowl does it. Like, How small you, is this crab box? The crab box is the serving size is full. <laughs> the craft, the regular craft, the noodle joints, the, the Velveeta. Box, we, I can understand. The Velveeta gets. A, I can Let's understand. Let's not even start on Velveeta. <laughs> yeah. Not even start with Velveeta. I'm just saying the bullshit craft. That shit ain't much. That's a bowl. How hungry are you right now? I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> You can't. Nah, I'll win this. <laughs> I'll win this. <laughs> nah, to be to be fair, he body that shit in like seven scoops. That sounds like some shit I'll do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's a fact. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna probably rewatch this joint because I didn't. Which the point you made about the movie review that's really good and it makes a lot of sense. So I might have missed that. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna watch this shit again. I think I should watch it too. Is Whenever it? I watch a movie I like, I always go to uh, YouTube to watch the breakdown. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I'd, I'd be knowing nah, I'm this shit. Get, I love, I love watching like Will. I'd be trying to figure out like I, cause, like I'm a movie buff, so I just watch. Yeah. I got a movie you know, for you what, to what watch. What I'm gonna watch? Alright, whatever. It, the poster looks dope. Yo, just, just hit play. Yeah, I won't even watch this. Look at the synopsis. Just go into a movie straight blind. Straight I got a, blind. I got a, I got a movie for you to watch. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but it's a movie called Midsummer. Midsummer. Summer. It's like a Swedish holiday in midsummer. Mm-hmm. And it's a it's a it's a a, u- a a unique take on a horror film, and the way it was filmed and directed was to make it look like it was filmed like you're you're going through a trip on acid. And since you said you do that, so it's worth. I love, I it's, love it's, some. And, love me my trippy movie. Yeah, it's a trippy film, and it's probably going to be a different experience if you watch it on acid. Damn. And on top I of will, that, it's, I will watch it on acid. It's the one and only horror movie filmed in only daytime. Only horror. There's, it's a daytime horror film. A daytime horror film, That's which is very, very unique and different. And some of the like, if you if you appreciate like camera work and, and angles and, and, and shots, it has some of the most beautiful camera camera work I've ever seen in the film. Noted. Yeah, so watch that film. It's sick though. It, it's like, yo, what the fuck is going on? But Noted. is it I want everybody to watch the sh- the shit, right. if I'm being honest. I don't think it, it's something to talk about. Cause that was one of the, the most sick movies I've ever seen. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? I'll get to my scoop. And it's pretty lighthearted. Again, because I have some wild shit, but I'm going to say that. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit more optimistic because I feel like New York is finally awakening again. I was I, I had put this on the, the, the shit, but I wanted to ask, is New York back this week? Not yet. We I'm saw like, yeah, it's his. You just bodied his scoop. No, nah, but, it's cool. He's had it. <laughs> I'm adding on to it. I'm adding context. Um, Bobby Schmurter came back this week. Weather got warm. Weather got warm. The garden opened. Julius Randle's an all star. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm. I don't know, man. This was a good New York week. It was a good week for New York, son. Cuomo's yeah, restricting. He's York. opening good more shit. That's another thing I want to know. Like, uh, Cuomo and them got sued for by the the the, the pool and billiards halls. So now they're opening up at fifty percent. Fifty. Fifty percent. So I'm like, all right, if that's happening in the, in, in the billiards and pool halls. Where, where where the comedy clubs at? What what are they doing, my nigga? I don't know. 
Yeah, they got. It's, it's bad though. Yeah, cause like they won't be here in the next couple months if they don't do something or open at least. Cause like I've been seeing like comedy clubs open in like Nashville and all these other in Jersey and and, mm-hmm. and, and Connecticut and shit yeah. like that. So I'm assuming they're gonna do something for them next or soon, hopefully. But I hope so. The thing is, comedy clubs is like one of the most shisty, like poorly run places you'll find. Really? Yeah. Just in know. general. My experience with a comedy club is my my boy owns this comedy club called Midnight Flights. <laughs> it's uh, another speakeasy situation. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and that shit is amazing. Where is it? Uh, In the Soho area. In New York? Yeah, it's definitely in New York. Can you plug us? Uh, Midnight Flights. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like... Of the situation. Where but and whenever, how? Whenever it all reopens up, because, you know, the situation that we're in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But most definitely, I'm, that's something I'm dying to come back to. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it's nice like this. Just yeah. want to fucking go to a spot, can chill out, do what I got to do, and have a nice comedy show. Yeah, because I know a comedian who would be dope to be on there. Got you. This we, man right here. <laughs> you know what I mean? We, we can connect afterwards. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Sound it. But I, I don't know what they're doing, Um, to be honest, on a business standpoint. Some of them have been able to do outdoor stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I know The Stand has outdoor dining and comedy. Yeah. I, like, if I'm being honest, during this whole pandemic, I feel like comedians have been the most creative I've seen. Out of everybody. Definitely, because they, they don't got a choice. They really. Got a us. Of... All right, we're going to figure our own shit out. From the yeah. live shows to doing it out live in Central Park mm-hmm. to making albums and yeah. shit like that. I'm like, all right, dude, it's creative. I, I fuck with it. I support it. It has never been more challenging to be a comedian than now. Than now, yeah. So, that, that's the it's thing. Really it's so much shit, man. Mm-hmm. It's just like... Yeah, you can't make jokes no more, son. Yeah, everybody gotta get triggered. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's 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 my shit. I just feel like I, New York is finally waking up. And, I, I agree and with it's that. It's a good feeling, and I hope it continues to be in a positive direction. Uh, mad people getting vaccinated. I'm seeing people I know get vaccinated and be fine. They're probably gonna bring out another vaccine in March. It's gonna be March when this shit drops. So we'll see. Staying positive, optimistic. I. Just remembered my scoop, which is amazing. Good shit. Look at that. Um, speaking of people getting canceled the fuck out of here, they really bodied Mr. Potato Head. Oh, Yo, yeah. son, yeah. bro, this is yeah. very upsetting. Yeah, like we, why? Wh- why? There was already a accept- Mr. Potato Head. And there was mis- already a Mrs. Mrs. So, potato Head. Yeah. But isn't it, the whole point that you could swap yeah. his shit out already? That's what, what the fuck was, was doing that it already. Was all, yeah, yeah, we was. See, this is why this is bullshit. We. Like we didn't need a yeah. whole international newsletter. Yo, M- Mr. Potato Head is now <laughs> yeah, just it, potato, that head. Just potato Head. Yeah. Like we no, didn't need we, that. You like, know what's crazy though? You could have just changed the marketing yeah. and just stopped selling Mr. Mrs. and just yeah. put Potato Head. Here's everything. Potato it Head. It could have yeah. just happened. We didn't need a whole you big thing. But when's the last time y'all heard about Mr. Potato Head up until Toy now? Story Four? Yeah, but you know, they, they <laughs> recent, bro. you weren't expecting that answer. <laughs> yeah. but, so, but still, who's who's buying Potato Head? Parents, Mr. Potato Head. Parents. Still, y'all parents ever had Mr. Potato Head? I, uh, I definitely. I actually didn't. They, was, one, they had a McDonald's did. one. They did it in McDonald's. Did, yeah. I had a couple for some reason. I don't Toy know. Story is a classic movie with classic Whoa. characters. If there was no That's Toy Story, would Mr. Potato Head be as popular? Probably not. No. Mr. But Potato Head, like because Mike that is a thing. Mr. Potato yeah. Head is out here. It's an iconic character. Yeah. Cause he's real, like. <laughs> you mean potatoes? No, good? no. Like he was a real motherfucker. <laughs> like he talked real shit. Stop fucking with me. I'm not. I'm actually making a semi-relative point. No, I'm not. Also, potatoes exist. Thanks. They do. <laughs> kind of do. I just say I. We're really at this point where we're like nobody's safe. No, nothing is oh, no. safe. No. no if we safe. if they have to make a point about Mr. Potato Head. You're going to see the next male Power Ranger with the skirt on and shit. They it's going to get We just, like, who, we, why are people <laughs> getting offended off of pronouns? I don't know. Look, I don't I mean, got time. What... I don't got time in my day. I'm offending a community here, but, like, can we, are we really serious here? Who, They're serious about it. But, like, if, why, like, the, I'm not mad about the people being serious. Who are the people making them be serious? Like, why are you being. I don't know being, the question. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what? <laughs> Who's making them be serious? Who like? What's your scoop? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I already said my scoop. But like to elaborate on my scoop, just 
why is this like a big deal? Why like, is why Mr. why is someone have like feel don't isn't confident with I guess who they are, so they have an issue with being called certain pronouns, and what is causing them to be that way? Why they, they feel why that are way? your feelings but, invalidated? Like, but that's that's the that's the that's the question. But and like, that's what who is why like why are they like why is that in, even in, something that needs to be necessary? Society. But why? That's how they like, feel. What is the reason for not a, that? That's not a question that we can answer. Well, that's, that's just literally how they feel. That's what I put out there for the world. Yeah, it's literally we just how they feel. Questions. They feel like they identify as that, so please respect but the, them. Who are you to tell someone else that their question is? And not why valid? is it? Why should it matter? Like, why should you have a that's, reason that's not? It. Why? Like, why do you feel that you have the power to say their feelings don't matter? My whole point. It, that's. I agree with your question. I'm not going to counter anything. I'm just like I'm actually agreeing with you with the whole way through. I'm just like. Hypothetically speaking, why? The problem is, this for them, it's not hypothetical. Mm. This is life. It's it's not a hypothetical question. This is exactly this is I'm living it. So I don't have to have I don't have, I have to ask this hypothetical because I know it. And I, now I need an answer. In their eyes, they know and it. That's because they're living it. Uh, Whatever. It, I'm pretty sure the situations that you have lived and other people that hasn't lived, and the, you would want to figure out why why what is the reasoning of this. And another person is like, I haven't lived that, so I can't, like, I don't have that experience. Like, my beard doesn't connect. I, I don't know what that feels like. Why'd you throw that? That's hair a, that's with hard. Hair? <laughs> he was a barber. He knew what it's like. Yeah. Like, my mom, like, I, thought, I used to cut hair. Like, <laughs> my beard doesn't, like, this <laughs> hair does not grow. Like, and I'm bald. Like, bro, like, this I don't know I'm what sorry, it's like. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. Exactly. I, but no, I'm not. I can't talk to you about beard on you. Mm. I know. I, I, I damn. <laughs> no, I mean, no but that was the answer. Not to dumb yeah, it down because yeah, yeah. it's more serious. To, but like, not to say it's similar. But like, that's how. That's yeah. That's the conversation. You know. Yeah. No. That's for one sure. Of the things you get. I think that was well said. I. <clears throat> I'm not, my whole point wasn't to argue. No, it wasn't to argue. That was the answer, yeah. nigga. You, <laughs> that was the legit answer. GoPro? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was the answer. Like literally, that's yeah. their life. My my, uh, get the fuck out my face. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, scoop, what to say is that this whole theory of secondhand high is very drastically, drastically. Pushed overboard. Is it? So you yes. can't get secondhand high. Like if you was, can, I was, I was you like, can what? get secondhand like high. Like hotboxing. Is that if like you hotbox? If you're someone that's just sitting and not smoking, and you're sitting in a situation where you think something's getting hotboxed, you're in a closing tight like closed environment, a car, a bathroom, mm-hmm. a closet, whatever. You got to find out. <laughs> you got to figure out where you got to smoke. Yeah. All right? You got to get high. You figuring out where you getting high. Yeah. If you're in such close environment, yes. And you're not smoking with them, yes. You will get secondhand high. Okay. In this situation where we're in now, it's fairly open. There's a, a, a door, windows, and situations like that. The chances of you getting second... My boy, he does not... He has no secondhand high. I don't feel like I have. He has no... I be feeling like and I'm high. The, the reason of that, for you to, to, for you to feel some type of quote-unquote high, that THC level has to be at least above 0.8. Once you blow that smoke out, it's very, 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 very minimal of as far as what TSC is in that actual smoke. Because your lungs absorb so much. Your lungs in the smoke. Once you inhale, the lungs absorbed it already. So second high, second hand high exists, but it's it's not it's blown out of proportion. It's not as big as they say. So the dog's not high. Oh, that was my question. <laughs> no, I feel like she would have been sleeping. I'm. <laughs> I can't tell you as far as the animal goes. <laughs> yeah. But I can tell you, my boy right here is not high. I'm sure. I feel like the same. Huh? Damn. Right. <laughs> now uh, let the people know, like, where so the- when we thought at home tells you that she's high because you were smoking in the bathroom to call her on her bullshit. <laughs> that is the scoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Uh, let the people know where to find you and like if you know <coughs> drop your socials and anything you want to push. I'm not getting my social security number. <laughs> Damn, the nah, plan's nah. foiled. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram. My my IG is tech t e c h underscore king. 
K I N G. It's funny how you gotta spell that. <laughs> Yo, because. They be spelling came well, with a Y, yeah. T three C H and shit. Like, oh, here we go. Listen, because of me, I took it. Yo, the person who has just Tech King, like, fuck you. You don't even post. You don't even use your shit. You have no post. You have no profile. For, you have three followers. Like, delete your shit, bro. Instagram, delete this nigga so I can take that shit. He does but, not know. He, I don't think he's well. He probably has. Mad, he has mad equity. He's, he has yo, mad at just listening to this mad podcast right now. To sell them. <laughs> That's what people do. People or, do that. Or yeah. you want this make the stallion? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. people do that. As soon as they see something pop off, yeah. they'll buy the domain yeah. and they'll sell it back to them. Yeah. yeah. No, you, but I know the domain. But imagine an IG tag. Yeah, that's it's the thing practically too. the same oh, thing. Shit. Like if you notice, it's uh, equity. Yeah. yeah. Like I forgot. I'm trying to. Think. I'm sober. Wiz Khalifa. Wiz sober again. Welcome back. You about to get? You about to get? Yeah. Um, Back to me. Oh, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what? So you can find me Tech King. Oh, yeah. You can find my creative profile at oh. Walker underscore studio. <laughs> you can follow my brand. Well, not necessarily my brand, but my people's. Is that Happy Monkey. Yeah. And Happy Monkey Goodies. And yeah. <laughs> Dope. And NYC Normal. Normal without the A. So N-O-R-M-L. Like Norm and his middle name is Leonard or some shit. Norm L. Yeah. If that's what helps you remember. Yeah. But that's or, me. <laughs> well, there I you have it. <laughs> yeah, be sure to follow us at Neapolitan Podcast. You already know. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube or wherever you listen to podcasts. Uh, yeah, all that good shit. You fuck with us. Support the brand. You see these fire ass hats. They ain't for sale though. But yeah. <laughs> you see them. <laughs> But uh, yeah, on that note, don't kill us. <laughs>